How's it going? I hope you're doing well. All right, and hello, YouTube. Welcome as well to more of the whole tile build challenge in Orin World. We are not doing well. We are not doing well at all. We are probably going to die today. So let's go. That's 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 how it's going to be. A tavern party. Gotcha, CCP. We'll do that in a bit. Hey, Amalfi. And good morning. Uh, yeah, hello. Good morning, Amalfi. And hello, HG. Hi. Good to see ya. How's it buying four? Oh. Gotcha. Play lots of FPS, but I like a lot of good, a good simulator as well. Gotcha. Hearts of Iron 4. Jumping in at this point is... Yeah, that is something... I play Paradox games. And that is something that I've... That, yeah, no. No. There is... Hearts of Iron 4, there was too much. There was too much. Yeah. There's too much. Yeah. <laughs> too much you left your laptop at 6 p.m last night and i went to see a friend open it back up it's been bouncing from twitch raid to twitch raid well hopefully you get some maybe nice emotes out of it mark mark thank you so much for the super chat i appreciate it that'll come up eventually possibly potentially i appreciate it hi ribbelish hi Rol. good morning uh we are basically dead at this point that's how it's going um so yeah, yeah, we are we are practically dead. Um, we are practically dead. This is my colony. Uh, Crusader Kings Three is a great way to start. Well, yeah, yeah, I would say so. Hey, Wolf's Heads. Hey, Holy Crow Batman. If you want to go into, um, if you want to get into, uh, Paradox Games, CK Three or Stellaris is probably best way uh death comes for us all yeah eventually once stream elements is like caught up with the alert and stuff mm -hmm, in like five minutes or something unless that was a super sticker and then that's not gonna show up as well no no we uh we very much are very dead but finally shane what the You, you said no doom and now you're like but doom oh my god also i think my cup broke did it break i think my cup broke y'all y'all already broke everything today everything's breaking today this is amazing thank you so much for the 10 heckin gifted subbies what the heck all right i have to i have to put you all back into the cup because it's broke it broke it there we go we'll we'll, we'll put you all back in I got you. I got you. I'm gonna put you all back in. Mostly. You might jump out, but but yeah. You said not much doom. Ten is that ten subs is a lot of doom. Thank you so much. I really heckin' appreciate it. Ten subs is a lot. Shush you. Why are you breaking things? This is a rule. Yeah, stuff usually breaks. Usually it breaks, but there we go. Okay. That that worked. Did this work though? Maybe. Let's try that one as well. Or did it just break again? Is stream elements just broken today? I think stream elements is just broken today. Is this a rule? You prefer it when you break me? Yeah. Okay, cool. Everything's broken today. This is lovely. All right. So we might not get your alert, Mark, because uh, stream elements seems to be completely broken. Like completely. It just crapped out again in terms of the cup. So Shane, thank you so much for the 10 heckin gifted subs i really appreciate it bunker joe katie shawberry uh von winkelhumpen mass nits yx nikon meets taiwan and mumble pug enjoy your orders at least it's friday yeah yeah indeed also yeah holy smokes heckin heckin follow bots friday everything's broken today everything is broken but you know what's not broken you know what's not broken ccp's tavern party we're gonna have a little tavern party have a little dance interruption and then we'll actually jump into the game and i'll try and fix the cup in the meantime let's go get your raves out and you don't have a rave yet so let's give you let's get you a rave So you can properly rave. Because you got to rave. Ooh. 
There we go. That took so long. Yeah, everything everything is broken. I feel like Twitch is having an issue. There you go. Refresh and then join the rave. Right, let's refresh that and see if that fixes it. That took so long. You're welcome, Mitch. It's nice to have you. Get your raves out. Have a Davin party with us. Yeah, and we're just going to try and see if we can, like, fix this. And thank you again so much, Shane, for the 10. And Mark for that super chat as well. Thank you so much. Okay, because those go in. And then I feel like it breaks. I think it might just be completely broken today. Woo, woo, woo. Might also be extra broken today. Who knows? Well, maybe, maybe refreshing the cache actually fixed it. Potentially. Hi, Blind Coda. Good morning. We're doing great. We're having a little party. How are you doing demo this morning? Also, three hours till next time it is. Yeah. Break the tip jar. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. Break the tip jar. The tip yar, yar, indeed. Thank you. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if I can fix yours as well, Mark. No, it, it literally, yours literally did not get seen by stream elements yet. So either YouTube hasn't sent it yet or everything's just broken. You got booped. Might just be broken. Things might just be broken today. Hey, Fritz Lark, good morning. Ready to go running again after two weeks break. Also Friday. Awesome, GG. GG. I ran a 5K yesterday and I decided I hate running in the evenings. So I will no longer run in the evenings. <laughs> thank you so much for the tavern party, Shane. Thank you so much for all the bits and the gifted subs as well. We're on 1,092 subs. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Thank you so much. Okay, so. If you, this, this is our colony. If you've never seen this game before, up here at the top are our little dudes. These are our colonists. We need to keep them alive. We just lost all of these little boxes in here is a dead person in a sarcophagus. So lots of people died. Hi, Val. Good to see you. Happy Friday. Uh, we have one wolf. Um, we are really, 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 really hurt. We have one child running around. Um, we had a giant, uh, like basically robots attacking us over here. They are finally dead. So we can go take that out. And we're just generally doing very, very, very badly. Hi, Najord. Good to see you. Hello. How are you doing today? It's good to have you. You dreamt being chased by the whole city again. You had to parkour up buildings and flew a small plane. That sounds fun, though. Like, in a weird way, that sounds fun, if you get me. But I get it. All right, Van, actually, the build up and be able to defend if attack happens. Yeah, 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 exactly. And take care of your people. Uh, the, the more stuff you acquire, the more wealth you have. So the unhappier they get. So you have to keep them happy. Provide food. They can get sick. You need to, you, need to, you know, keep, keep them healthy and happy and all that sort of stuff. There is technically a win condition. You can win this game. Most people don't go for that though they just try to keep their colony going for as long as possible basically um i'm doing a sp specific challenge and that is basically build on the map within the buildable tile border which is denoted by this white line to fill basically this entire area with my colony um which is very difficult and yeah i just lost most of my colonists so we're not doing very well we have one child, which is almost ready to grow up. Uh, Van is actually a visitor, so they don't really do much. They can fight, which is good, but they don't do anything. So they're not actually a colonist. Ruth currently is down because of toxic extreme buildup, but they should be okay. And then there is Nanezi, who is who also has toxic buildup, but is mostly okay. Night Dweller! Oh my gosh, thank you! Andrew, thank you so much for the 100 bits as well. Thanks for putting bits in my cup. Okay, at least the cup seems fixed now, so that's good. 
Thank you. Also, sorry, Mark, that it's not honk, right? Sorry that that's not coming up. It's like Stream Elements hasn't seen it yet. So I, it's like YouTube hasn't sent it over. Uh, we also have a couple of robots that we control. Um, and they help us. They clean and we have a builder robot and a hollow robot. Nightweller! Thank you so much for another 100 bits. Break the cup. Honk. I see how it is. I see how it is. Mark! What are you doing? Thanks so much for gifting a membership over on YouTube. Wasabi socks. Enjoy being a member. Giggity. Nightweller! Oh, that worked. Hey. Cool. That worked. Cool. Well, that's neat. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Nidrella, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Mark is like, I will take this hype train to YouTube. Poor cup. It is very, it is very full right now. Yeah. Oh my lord, Night Dweller. It's falling. I'm trying. It's going everywhere. Help. Help. I'm trying. I'm trying. Maybe. Nope. I thank you so much. For the 100 bits. They might not be a Twitch person, but they might be. Last time you got Josanna. I don't know who that is, though. Okay. Okay. Starvation. Ruth. Oh. Uh, feed. Feed them. Feed them. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're not doing well at all. Um, do we even have a doctor? Okay, you are you are Captain Planet. Gapian, oh my god. Chat, we, we literally can't hype train right now. You know that, right? Gapian, good morning. Thank you so much. Are we throwing support? Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Happy time zone. Thank you so much. It's going too well. Oh, Mark. Oh, Mark. The, the episode I reported today. Oh, lordy. The episode I recorded today it's uh yeah it's 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 yeah too well mm-hmm uh it's craig again hello hi welcome how's it going good morning welcome welcome how are you today but yeah if you've got any questions about the game what we're playing is this vanilla room well no we're playing with mods no we're playing with mods no uh we definitely have mods on i did mark yes i did i did i did disable it yeah no we have we have mods on uh, it does say in the title okay yeah yeah um, we have some, we have some that add quite a few things, but it's not like a 300 plus mods run. It's more like 30 to 40, I think. But some that change quite a bit of stuff, like Architect Expanded and stuff like that, and animal things and all that sort of stuff. But not, yeah. Hey, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome. But yeah, we are, we are indeed playing with mods. Um, I need to actually still update that list. I haven't updated it because we kicked we kicked out real ruins because real ruins is buggy, unfortunately. It is quite heck and buggy. I can't play without embrasures. Hey, the embrasures mod is great. I've played with that before. Also, I wouldn't go so far to say that because uh, last time we played, we literally lost like five people in one attack, and right now we are hanging on by a thread. We have one child. One person that's healthy, one visitor that doesn't do anything, and one person that's currently completely down because of tox extreme toxic buildup. <laughs> We're, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a thing. Um, if I put you into a medic cycle, oh, does that not fix bio regen? Oh, the bio cyclists do not fix extreme toxic buildup yeah yes yes van has one but van is only a visitor van is not with us forever unfortunately yeah here you can see it departing in uh in 10 days unfortunately so yeah considering the hours i've played this game i still do a lot of silly shenanigans <laughs> And we lose colors a lot. Even the medical, even the medical regen, yeah. I wonder if that's an oversight. I wonder if that's an oversight or not. I have not a, no idea. Hey, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you. Ooh, right, right, exactly, exactly. 
It's very odd. That seems spoopy. It is a little bit, yeah. Especially because Ruth is our, like, leader. So they're the person who can do the preach health action. Yeah, and now they've got dementia. Great, because they got such extreme toxic buildup. Crap. If I put you in the medic cycle now. Hey, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Mewtwo. Welcome, welcome. Yo, yo, how's it going? You can't fix dementia with this? Oh my lord. Oh no. We're so screwed. <laughs> but welcome. Hi, good to have you. <laughs> we are so screwed. Oh, this is insane. We're doing great. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we're uh we're trying our best. Last time we played, we got super duper wrecked. Uh, we lost a lot of colonists, so we're kind of clinging on by a thread, and we're trying our best. No, with mech serum, we can do it. Yes, we need a healer mech serum to fix them. Okay. Uh, Losari from the Exodus Empire is requesting a bit of monument to reduce feelings of difficulty amongst the people. 13 by 9. 10 days to build it. You have to protect it for 20 days. If not, manhunting mega sloths. Yes, you can, Mark. Yes, you can recover the, the mech link. I might do it for the goodwill. So we need because we need to work on making the empire friendly. Yeah, Mewtwo, don't do that. That's really uncool. Don't do that. Don't come into streams, say hello, and then try to self-promote. That's uh, really uncool. That's really uncool. We shout out streamers in the community once you've been here for a while, but don't don't just come in and self-promote. That's really uncool. Yeah, you literally just said, hi, I'm going to go stream soon. That's self-promotion, mate. Don't do that. It's uncool. Yes, you did. You literally did. You just said that. So, yeah, don't do that. It's pretty uncool. Okay, uh, we are safe now, though, because we can go outside. <laughs> yeah, or not, you know. Or we can just do that. There you go. Oh, my lord. Okay, this is... Thanks, CCP. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That was, yeah. Don't want to deal with that. It's fine. Don't worry about it. All right, cool. We built the computing system. That's awesome. That is awesome. So we got that going. Cool, cool, cool. Also, yeah, hot damn. Follow bots are strong today. They're really going for it. Oh, God. It's really crazy that you can't... Yeah, because if Medic Cycle doesn't have any conditions that can be be healed, not bioregen, and even with age reversal, I don't think we can do it. That is quite wild. That is quite wild. Oh, you're our brawler. There you go. Legendary Uranium Gladius. That's what you have. Exactly. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's grab that. We want to grab this immediately. I don't know. I, I don't know if you can butcher mature flesh beast and actually get stuff out of it, because I don't think you can. I don't think you can, actually. Okay. Yeah. I limited... I... Hmm. I'm gonna unrestrict the lifter for a bit so the lifter can put in work and wholesome stuff and there's like mega sloth meat just lying around here as well we have only 1800 hours in this game but we still haven't made a spaceship off the planet honestly craig i mean i've played a lot i'm probably coming up around 6,000 hours in 10 years the number of times i've built the spaceship or finished a playthrough i can still count in one hand on one hand it's not about 
finishing the game for me at all. It's just about having fun and keeping the colony alive for as long as possible. Um, so I, I get yeah. I get it. Hey, thanks for the follower. Hi, Invisible Man. Thank you so much for the raid. Good morning. Hi, and hi, Princess Kelly. Good to see you as well. Good evening. How's your Friday going? No, it's it's not my birthday, but thank you so much for the heck and raid, Invisible Man. You were also doing room well. Nice. I hope your colony is faring a bit better than mine. Hopefully potentially thank you so much for uh, coming on over raiders it's lovely to have you hi i'm fg i tend to play a white variety of mostly indie games here on this channel thank you so much for coming on over i really can appreciate it hi space gates no it's still it's really not my birthday i promise you thank you so much for coming on over though i really can appreciate it 30 pounds oh that's a lot you can sh send some send some to me i i need some i lost a lot of them Hey, thank you for the follow. Welcome. I lost a lot of follow uh, people. And um, we technically have four, but we don't because Van is just a visitor and they don't do any work. It's really bad. It's not my birthday. No, no, it is not. Chat does not understand how birthdays work. It is not my birthday. <laughs> Chat just thinks it's my birthday every day. Don't question it. It's just how they, yeah. Also, apparently I've gifted a thousand subs on my own channel. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's not quite my birthday, but thank you so heck much for the raid. I really, really, really appreciate it. But yeah, I'd, I'd gladly take some of your colonists. I'm just saying that. No! No, I have 74 more days. I have 74 more days. Okay, we have a farming trader. How are we? We are good on food, though, technically. Join us. 74. Yeah, 74 days. Mark Mark is keeping track. Mark is keeping track. Uh, no, we're not doing Twitch Toolkit today. Also, also, we already had the first bad event of the, of the day. Ruth, while fighting, got extreme toxic buildup, and now they've got dementia. Uh, FG's the oldest streamer alive, right? Hi, Infinity! Good to see you. Hello. FG abandonment. Yeah, FG abandonment will be happening indeed. Yep, yep. Uh, apparently I have some of those. I don't know why. I'm going to sell them. I don't need them. There we go. Yeah, and the bot is just nicely hauling. That's that's good. I appreciate that bot because I need it. What are you? Oh, you're chilling. You're on cooking duty though, right? Yeah, warden, oh, child care and then cooking and stuff. And animals, yeah. Ruth does... Ruth is good at social stuff, basically. Okay, you're building on the little... The little... Team chilling, yes. Oh, gosh. This is... This, this, this colony, like last stream, went from going really well to... So messy to just so 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 messy is absolutely crazy goodness me oh but ruth is oh my god you're gonna be really slow now because of your dementia aren't you oh no and the toxic buildup as well still but there's nothing we can do about it is that a description of a normal rim world run Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Very much so. You're right, Wolf Tats. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what more mechs help? Um, we can make we can make more cleaners or lifters or builders at this point. I don't think we need more of that. To get higher quality mechs, we would have to get um summon the 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 mechanoid threat first basically uh, and that's that's kind of sca scary that's kind of scary so yeah i don't think we should do that right now 
Heck and ESR, you're in a dungeon, you've never done. One person quits right before the last boss. Second person gives up and refuses to help with it. The two of us left. Kick them, finish the boss. Hey, GG party, well done. Awesome. You just had a mech right yourself. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I... So, what happened last time we played? We had a psychic ship land down here. There were like seven or eight scythes. So, I... Pulled them with my colonists. One colonist got down, but I finished them off. Well, it turns out I didn't finish all of them off because for some reason, one scyther down here didn't aggro. But I didn't realize that the scyther didn't aggro. So... That scyther, because I was unpassed and on 3x speed, wrecked people. No, no. Yeah, oh, you had the bigger ones, the pike man. You had, yeah. Yeah, so I had a scyther and it just went chop, 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 chop. And then people were bleeding out and I couldn't, I couldn't, um, you know, like fix them in time and pick, patch them up in time and all sorts of sh crazy shenanigans. It was, ugh, it was a mess. It was an absolute mess. And uh, yeah, now we're trying to see and survive. <laughs> We'll see how it goes. What's that show? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The automotors, right? Hi, Corbu. Hi, Corbu. Or do you mean the ones that, um, the th the actual mechs that what that breach your walls, the thump the, the thumpers? Yeah, the thumpers are crazy. The that do breach raids. Mm hmm. Wanderer request a pyromaniac. Well, you know what? I cannot be heckin' picky. So come on in, Moon. 14, an annoying voice pyromaniac. Can't do anything. Oh, lordy. Hi, Pinky. Hi, Mr. Feltman. Good to see you. Exclamation mark. Join. I will join for the YouTube folk. And, uh, because we draw names from the, uh, name pool. Uh, randomly and uh, yeah wow we still have we don't have any doctors this is ridiculous wait hunt oh you don't do hunting yeah because you're ideal legend okay wow you don't do anything you only do art you literally don't do anything oh moon plus Oh my god, this is... I guess you'll... you'll we'll, we'll, we'll teach you how to do plants, mate. We'll teach you how to do plants. Free death, right? Oh god, EMI build? Yeah, mm-hmm. Double passion hunting, but they don't do it. Yeah. They have a double passion in shooting, but they don't do it. Uh, they don't do it. Uh... They can learn research. Yeah, but I have already a better researcher. I already have a better researcher. So, there is that. So, yeah. That's if quest. You accidentally did it once. Gotcha. A mad rat. Okay. Oh, I don't have my thingy open. Oh, that's, that's bad. Need to open the door here. Very much so. Are you coming? All right, yeah. Rat's coming. Good. We should be okay. Just order back to order safe because of the toxic fallout. Yeah. Honestly, so I I'm not re-rolling in this particular colony, but I've definitely played other colonies where I just straight up re-roll and reload and stuff. Hi, last. Good to see ya. FG's thingy is open. Yeah. Did the guild go in the funnel if you place traps in there? Yes. If there's technically a way around them. If you if you just fill this uh, small cinder room like this with traps, they're not going to go in there. Because um, the pathing is too smart for that. If you if you make it 
too wide. So if you if you make a wall like this and a and then um, basically what you do is you make a two wide corridor like this, and then you place traps. Oh, obviously these are walls, and then you place uh, traps. In an alternating pa pattern like this, right? And then what you do then is you fill the remaining space with barricades because they will be able to walk over the barricades. So this does not get shown to them as non pathable, but because of how the AI works, they don't see the traps per se and the ai goes oh the place with the traps that's faster pathing so we go through we go through the squares where the pathing is you know where the, where the squares are empty but that's where the traps are so you can bait them into traps but you need to you need to make it seem like there is an open path into your base Hi Kaiju! Hey, last with a stream watch streak. Let's go. Let's go. Very nice. Very, very heckin' nice. Uh how are we doing this morning? Spelling is optional, yes. I think I think that describes it really, 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 really heckin' well for a lot of us. Spelling is optional. It's Friday. It's the Wild West. Exclamation mark join because we have a call on this to name. I'll give you that's your five second warning to jump on it's into Friday, the name pool. Friday, Exclamation mark join. We have a 14 year old, a 14 year old pyromaniac with an annoying voice, but we're so desperate we literally can't be picky. Hi Milo, good to see you. All right, let's do it. Pick random. It's Ribelish. With pre-death. Wonderful. Hi, Havoc. Welcome. All right. Pre-death. That's great. And hi, Kalu. Ghoul Salvation. His friend has been really well traveling. The victim is Ghoul. 46-year-old scout. There are four attack in there. And there might be an unknown threat. And they're a waster. No. I will not go rescue a waster. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. <laughs> Oh my god, it got timed out by the bot on YouTube. <laughs> ah, sorry. I didn't realize that that was on. Spam protection over there should not be on. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This game is dangerous so far. Eight hours can pass. It feels it's been 30 minutes. Yes. Yes. Very much sorry. Very much sorry. Oh. Okay, I see. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, that's fine too. All right, there we go. You're safe now. You're safe now, Mark. You may spam your capitals. Your capitals? Your caps, Mark. It's fine. All good. You want something? Yeah. Did you though? Did you want? Did you? Did you win it? Or did you lose because, you know, you might just might have just won death. You might have just won death. You want cheese. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. You take one death, please. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Sounds good. I'll see if you're if you're confused as to why I'm not saying thank you to the followers. Uh, there's there's some uh, follow bot shenanigans happening. They're not being like super obvious about it. They're not going like spam 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 spam, but it's very obvious regardless. <laughs> You'll take one death. That's gonna happen. Hi Uli. Uli Uli are you okay? Uli are you okay? Are you okay Uli? Uh, hi, Uli. You spam. Oh, you spamming capitals. Oh, it's too early in the morning for that, my friend. <laughs> gotcha. Nice, nice, nice one. I like it. FG is smooth. Ah, oh, 
am I smooth though? Hi, tea time. <laughs> oh God. It's a thing today. Today is a day, I swear. But you know what? It's gonna be a good one. A Galatross has wandered in. Okay, I think, maybe, hopefully, we'll see. I don't know what I'm gonna do about your brain though. I don't know what I'm gonna do about your brain. The higher the number, the smoother it is, right, Corbu? Or is it the other way around? Yes, 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 very much, Craig. Um, sorry, it is today. Today is International Women's Day. Uh, it is also International Women's History Month in the US. So, um, uh, Twitch is featuring a selected amount of streamers, uh, female streamers, on the front page. So, I'm actually currently on UK front page. So, yeah, that's definitely 100% that. Do the name thing. I did, I did, I did, I did. We have pre-death. They are now called pre-death. Revelish one. We did it. Thank you for the reminder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. 100%. 100% has to do with that. Mm hmm And thank you for, for checking out the channel, Craig. I really appreciate it. Yeah. That was about how many grains there are per area. So high numbers mean smaller grains mean smoother. Got it. Okay. I thought so. I thought so. Thank you. Not even on your first cup of coffee. Mmm. Gotcha. I'm on my third cup of coffee. All right, Mark, see you in a bit. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a really cool opportunity. Because last last year, the last two years they've done, this is the third year they're doing it. We were on the shelf, on the recommendation shelf, but this year we're actually like up on the carousel on the front page, which is a really cool opportunity. And I'm really grateful to Twitch for that. All right, I have to protect this for 20 days. Otherwise we get a pack of five manhunting mega sloths coming after us. But uh, yeah. There is, there is definitely uh, shenanigans going on. But it's very obvious, so they just come in and I just immediately hit the block button, which makes them unfollow again immediately. So yeah, the pink marble is super pretty. Yeah, Say so, yeah, yeah, it is super pretty. I like Cucumpare's um, recolored stones a lot. Yeah, absolutely, Amalfi. Absolutely. Also, how is day? four going uh five going it's five right hope it's going well for you so far fingers crossed have a good lurk though absolutely you never have to apologize here for lurking and hanging out and and doing the things you you want to do all right what we're going to do is a conversion ritual on pre-death the five's going well so far yeah yes happy international women's day indeed hi spark good morning spork i love it and hi, Commander UD. Good morning. Hi, Fat Baptist. Good to see you as well. All right. Come on, pre-death. Just abandon your old ideal religion. Join us. Well, that went great. From 75 to 84%. Well, I guess don't have your heckin' person with dementia do the talking thing. There are four lights. Yes. They very much did a there are four lights thing. Yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm thinking the same CCP. It's not like they're contributing much to the colony anyways at this point. Sorry, uh, we're just gonna arrest them. Oh, but then the person that I sent to arrest them literally got dementia confusion. And they're not just wandering around like a useless person. Great. But Nanazi, Nanazi is there. Prisoner converts. Good. This colony is so doomed. It is so doomed. Ah, oh, this is amazing. If we can actually get this back, of, uh, uh like get this back going, that would be amazing. We can take up their legs and train medical. Yeah, the Ruth is. Uh, wait. No, nobody is good at medical. Nobody's good at medical. So that is a very scary thing to do because they would probably fail and like literally fatally cut them by, by taking off their neck or something. Hi, French Dreams. Hello. You are new here. Hi, welcome. What does my food storage look like that? So we have um, shelves. This is the, these are vanilla shelves. They just have a different color. And um, 
basically what I usually do is I build a big food storage and treat that as my general storage um, until I get a secondary story for a storage for items set up. So that's why there's still mechanoids and stuff like that lying around in here, but we can actually go ahead and fix this up and kick out the um kick them out i guess because we don't need to refrigerate um we don't need to refrigerate mechanoids and stuff like that um and then this these are just shelves um because shelves that you store a lot more in one square now than just storing it on the uh on the floor and colonists can walk over shelves no problem right it slows them down only only when they step on the shelves and after that they walk over them normally and um yeah that's that's why we yeah i just have it filled with shelves because you can stack three stacks of items in one square rather than one mm. oh you're welcome you're absolutely welcome yeah so the way the speed works is they they slow down when they step from the floor onto the shelf but then they speed up to normal speed again and then they only slow down once they go down again and hey thank you for the follow there i appreciate it welcome welcome you're welcome french dream also hi thanks for stopping by and uh yeah shelves are super oh my god again oh jeez, this is so bad we need to get that dementia fixed that is so so bad like she was like wandering confusion got better for like two seconds and then <sighs> yeah honestly they need something like that all right captain planet you need to be a warden as well because i need ya yeah we finally got her back to being able to do finger guns and then just shenanigans exactly Mm-hmm. But butter is buddy efficient. Yeah. That's a lot of butter going on there. There's a lot of butter going on in that sentence without the word being butter that butt spot does. Very interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, the kid is basically a teenager. And it's Captain Planet. Captain Planet knows. He's got it. He's got this. He's also max growth tier almost, which is great. Yeah. See, look, he's doing really well, actually. We came to party Tim! Tim, thank you so heckin' much for the raid. Hi, everybody. Ooh, Battle Brothers. Nice. Hi, babe. Hi, Trunks. How's it going? Hi, I'm doing great. How are you? Thank you so much for the heck and raid. Hi, how are you? It's wonderful to have you. Hello, 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 hello. Good morning. Thank you for the heck and raid, Tim. I hope you had lots of fun with Battle Brothers. How many gruesome injuries were there and how many heads did you lob off? Thank you so much for coming on over. I really appreciate it. Trunks, thanks for the watch stick. Enjoy extra channel points. It's Captain Plan It, the one who organized the parties. Yes. <gasps> Meg Ray. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. What is it? I'm scared. Ooh, that's spicy. That is spicy. Successful day, only one death. Nice. GG. Oh god, and Ruth is still in a daze. We have three people. Oh my god. This might be the end. That's awesome, Tim. I need to play more Battle Brothers again, honestly. That's great to hear, though. Ruth, can you please... Unbreak yourself? Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be death by robots very soon that is that is terrifying also you need to go inside a little mech no more wandering outside because the empire is still not no we're still not um, uh, allied so i can't call them oh gosh that's that's just terrifying 
And this is absolutely terrifying. I'll keep Van as a backup to open the doors and stuff, I think. Mm hmm. Hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you. Hello. All right. So, most of these are scary. The scariest, though, is the Scorcher, honestly. That's what I'm worried about the most. Also, you're probably going to get hypothermia, I reckon. <laughs> okay, the Scorcher's coming up first. Oh, gosh. Okay. All right. Good, good shooting. Good shooting. Good shooting. Good shooting. All right. Good. That was not too bad. That was not too bad. We could possibly also just open it up again like that and make you go that way. that door that door took a while to close okay um yes i did i did we talked about it yesterday oh are you shooting yes you are you're cheating you're cheating you're cheating you're standing on top you're cheating i don't like this van get out of the way van get out of the way it's cheating Virtual column, yeah. Oh, it's so annoying that that doesn't work anymore. This used to be such a good kill box, but it was nerfed. It's been nerfed. Okay, the scorcher is down. All right. Oh, oh, okay. You go. Close that. The scorcher is down. I'm very happy to report the scorcher is down. Nothing broke it. They patched it out, CCP. Oh no, this was uh, deliberate. This was deliberate interference by the developer. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Also, butt spot. Chill out, please. I swear you're not paying attention properly there. See the numbers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was patched out. It's fine. I don't mind. It's fine. But yeah, it just doesn't work as well anymore. Okay, good. Oh, no, don't arrest the nazi. Are you actually going to break that wall? Can you? Oh, you can't. Okay, wait. We'll wait for you to turn around put van there go can you actually see oh that doesn't work on you that's cheeky <laughs> hug butt spot hug the butter bot this is so scary um, I tried to do a blinding pulse on them, but it didn't work. Um, which is a psych, psych, psychic thing. Like a psych... Um, yeah. But it, it, it only works on eyes, not on mechs, apparently. Basically, I cast a spell. Okay, that's one. That one's down. Nanazi, repair that granite wall, please, because I need you to. Is that Scorcher? Otherwise, it's going to... Oh, no, that Scorcher is going to breach it. Never mind. Van, go there. You're going to breach over there. Okay. Yeah, they're just going to breach over here. Band's just gotta help. Okay, GG. Well done, Nanazi. Well done, well done, well done. 
Yeah, and they're just they're just bonking everything right now. So rude. You're trying to breach over there. Why? Don't think no, don't take it. Don't take this kill box for granted anymore. So we'll have to build a different kill box, I guess. God, that ch that ah. Hi oranges and hi bunny hedger. How's it going? Hello. We wanna just quickly pop on over here so they can't see us. Oh god, the bot's like, ha 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 ha, get wrecked. I will re I will build this. They are, they are basically banging their head on the wall and breaking it that way, yeah. Uh, go inside, actually, real quick. Nice, Ruth, nice. <laughs> Love the bot. The bot's like, ha ha, I'll just build you a wall now. Okay, but that one's been breached now. Okay, we go over here. A little bot that could is just kicking butt. Let's go. Very nice. I actually like this. If we had more shooters, that would help. Hi, Cody. Good morning. But we just don't. All right. Got you. So what do we have left? A pikeman and a lancer. Okay. Can I make deep water? No. Not without mods. Hi, Arrow. Good to see you. Yeah, not without mods, unfortunately. Oh my god, you're actually going to build that wall. That is hilarious. You did it. You actually did it. That's hilarious. Okay, I wonder, will they come down here? Or will they go there? Hi, Jay. Welcome. Okay. You're going through the hole. Got it. Oh, but you're doing that. Okay, wait. Why are my pipelines? What, my pipelines? Pipelines? What pipelines? No, that's um, that's a kill box. But that kill box doesn't actually work anymore. Because the behavior of enemies has been patched out. That made that kill box possible before. Dang it! My cooler! No, no, no. These are columns. These are columns. They're not pipelines. Those are just wall. That that's a that's a type of kill box that you used to be. It yes, it has been nerfed. Correct. Basically, columns used to prevent enemies from being able to stand upon them. But now enemies can stand on columns to a degree. Um, it's still usable. It's just a lot more unreliable than it used to be. Yes. God, the mechs are terrifying. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, there we go. Get the animal. We survived, though. Somehow, we survived. No, I, I understand. To a degree, I understand why. But at the same time, it's also like, but why? <laughs> you just use sandbag sandbags? Yeah, sandbags works. But sandbags don't no sandbags work yeah but the problem is with sandbags they don't have a lot of hit points yeah you can do sandbags i think trees is still your actual best bet yeah i think trees are is still actually your best bet uh you kill the bots do i get free parts of them now yes if i de disassemble them mm-hmm yes if i dis disassemble them you can get parts from them. The problem is right now, we don't really have anybody who's good at doing that. <laughs> so, yeah. As I said, this colony is very much on the brink of uh, collapsing. This is Van's shuttle, all right? Go in the shuttle, off you go. Bye, Van. Now the Empire, Empire is allied with us, sorry, which is good. So now we can call the Empire in if we need help. So that gives us a little bit more of a survival chance, like a little bit more. Not much, but a tiny little bit. Uh, lots of hay grass that you set fire to. So you, fire can be good to fight people. 
not mechanoids. Mechanoids are immune to fire. But the problem is, if you set enemies on fire, their pathing becomes erratic and they can path through your colonists even if they're blocking like the pathway so to get really hot fire in rim world to make a room really hot you need to enclose it indoors and close close the room as soon as the room is open up to the outside the ambient temperature is normal it's just how temperature and rim world works so yeah you can't set them on fire but that's about it there are no remote control doors there's no such thing unless you play modded yeah 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 you can create certain kill boxes that use heat but it is uh it is I, I would say those are even those are even cheekier than the the one that we have that then the, the these are the, that's more cheese than the kill box that we have okay ruth failed to convert them but it lowered them to 39 so that's good because i guess your talking is a bit better now now that the toxic buildup is mostly gone yeah okay you're getting you're getting there again okay good who is wearing tethered apparel captain planet that's fine we're just waiting for captain planet to grow up they are maximum maximum growth tier so that's great so we can choose three passions and one trait from six options which is great so, all in all, that's really good. We just need to sing, apparently. Apparently, we just need to sing really badly. Hi, Hapaku, good to see you. You've killed bug infestation with heat is, but a lot of them away. They can't get too fast. Yes. If you, if you build under a mountain, what you do is you have, like, baits, bait rooms. And you put, ideally, you put incendiary um, traps in there. And then when they, when the mechs just spawn, when it's dark in there, uh, they will trigger those and then they will cook themselves, basically. Hi, Hapako. It's good to see you. Hello. Do dragon teeth lanes stop the bad? It's zigzag holes. Um, it's definitely, a, definitely a kill box design that works still. That still definitely works. Captain Planet, is he a hero? Yes, ads. Oh my god. Captain Planet, no joke, at 12 years old, is the MVP of the colony. Like, full disclosure. Absolutely. Killbox use atoms like cold or electricity or acid. Does not exist. Elect well, electricity does exist, but not like you can electrify anything. You have incendiary traps. You have EMP traps and that sort of stuff but acid is not a thing there's toxic buildup but then you need enemies that are susceptible to actual toxic buildup um so wasters are gonna be immune impits are gonna be immune to a degree and mechs are gonna be immune to that so it's it's tricky it's tricky yeah but yeah no like captain planet if we hadn't had the child the colony would be dead like he literally saved the colony from death when i lost five colonists last last time but yeah zigzag ones with traps is probably what we actually need to do in terms of kill boxes rather than the one that we have right now hi omrid i'm indecent well yes no onesie today so far but we're only an hour into stream so who knows right who knows? Who knows? There are still many, many hours left. We still have like seven hours left. Not really, Corbu, because turrets are kind of useless in RimWorld. They don't stop people very much because they're so inaccurate. And they mostly just explode. 
And then you have to rebuild them. Have a good lurk. Hide in room. But you're already in a room. Okay, fair enough. Have a good lurk, Apaco. Thanks for hanging out. Turrets are good for funneling breaches. Yeah, or deterring breaches. Yes. 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 Because turrets, if you place turrets in your base, they create kind of a security zone. Where they won't path through, like the breaches. So yeah. Also, I need more. Oh, fudge. My Pollux tree died. What? How the heck did that die? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was wondering why nothing was happening. Oh, no. My Pollux tree died. What? How? Hi, Zamona. Good to see you. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Pollux tree is a tree that you can plant, but that will remove pollution from the ground. Well, crap. Well, heckin' crap. That sucks. That sucks. That's how we've been be dealing with toxic waste packs so far. So far. Well, we just I just realized my my Pollux tree died. <gasps> Captain Planet is an adult. Let's go. Captain Planet is now 13 years old. He's developed a number of new passions by learning about hunting buffalo. Captain Planet wants to spend more time learning about Arcotex and playing backgammon with friends. Yeah, he's made it. All right. We'll give you passions in crafting, shooting, medical artistic animals or plants. I, I guess medical, so you learn a little bit more. All right. Greedy, sanguine, bloodlust, body mod or sickly. Sanguine. That's a pl permanent plus 12 to your mood. Let's go. Hi, Cookie. Good morning. How are you? Good to see you. Those were not bad choices. Yeah, I would have also taken bod body modder because we're transhumanists anyways. But uh, honestly... Sanguine is too good to not have. Sanguine is too good to not have. Yeah, we'll make you a warden. Uh, we'll... Yeah, you're gonna be our crafter. You'll just have to learn. Today, okay. Oh, started having coffee with a friend, getting stuff off your chest. I'm so happy. So happy you found somebody to talk to and it makes you feel better. That is great. That is really awesome to hear, honestly cookie that's fantastic really we don't have any clothes to wear we don't actually streaking in a onesie you swear <laughs> thanks for the watch streak cookie i appreciate it thank you all right well conversion yay pre-death has converted all right be free be free pre-death all right you're also streaking. Let's go. All right. Pre-death. That name. That name, though. It's, it's, it's a name. More streakers. Cookie was a streaker all along. Yeah, apparently so. Apparently so. Get the revolver there. Perfect. Uh, you go over there. You still need clothes. We'll allow. What do we have a lot of? Heavy fur. I guess we'll allow heavy fur and night leather. Because we don't have enough clothes right now. We don't have enough hyper weave and or devil strand. We can't even grow devil strand really anymore. So... Yeah, we'll just have to we'll just have to deal with this. For now. You were just free. <laughs> nope. You can never leave. This is very much like the Hotel California. You may never leave. 
Cool. You're making clothes now, though. Not going to be very good at it, but you will hopefully um, learn fast. go get your get your brain souped and then go craft thank you there we go yeah because you're you're uh yeah oh god group of pigs they want to use sappers 11 11 of them all right i guess okay uh call the empire get pre-death get nanazi animals inside mechs inside gonna have captain planet uh immediate military aid thank you gonna have captain planet finish the leather duster or at least i'll try to Friendlies have arrived. I mean, at least they arrived in a good spot. They might actually get them before they breach our base. This is kind of like a colony ship. You have lots of colonies that want to get the promised land. The living colonies are the caretakers. To a degree, yeah. Oh, really? With with nades? I get them. Shoot. Wow! Holy, they breach through so quickly. Captain Planet, no. Finish. No, nope, we go this way. Why are you trying to get to my... Oh, you're trying to get to those bedrooms. Because for some reason, that's just what you love to do. Breaches will always target your bedrooms. And to be fair, we do have good beds. Are you like souped up? Yes gonna say you seem like you're souped up guppy gumpy not guppy gumpy do that and then there we go i did an animal war call on the okay whoa luckily the empire brought a lot of melee fighters so i think that'll help us Captain Planet is just happily making their duster. Okay, good. Nice. Okay. If you back. Oh, you're going for my beds again. Okay, one of the horses is going in there. The Empire's coming up. Good. Need to be careful here. So I mean that they just keep going for your bedrooms. Set up your daylight lamp. Let's go. All right, go get Squaborg. A double beset bed assigned to Ruth was destroyed. You buttheads. All right, get Moppin. There goes Nanazi's bed. The good thing is we have a lot of different beds. All right, go get Squaw. Get out of the way. Get them. Okay, so what we need to do clearly is build traps down there. Hi, Keith. Wow, my voice. All right, we did it. That did not go very well. But we did it. We did it. We did it. Did you know you were talking about wanting an MMO? I might have found you one. Have I could have heard of Bitcraft? I have not, no. I have not heard of Bitcraft. What is buttery? 60. Yeah, no. I will take your stuff though, and then I will rescue Angelos. Okay. That was potentially that could have been really bad. Alright. Free death is now wearing clothes. That's good. Ah, oh, gotcha. Thank you, Plotty. Oh, you could... Oh, what you could do, CCP, is put it on a timed... 
time to um, plug, you know what I mean? Just have it set on a timer to turn it on and off. Right, Captain Planet is on it. Very nice. Okay, and the Empire is fine as well, mostly. Okay. It's okay. We're fine. But yeah, that was that was bad. What we could do? Oh, we don't have. <laughs> Never mind. I was going. What we can do is, uh, you know, we can build up. Uh, and build some turrets to deter sappers. Yeah, it turns out we don't have turrets yet. So there's that. How are you doing? Good. You'll be fine. Yeah, and then Captain Planet will will make you do stuff. You're wearing new stuff. Yeah, it's not going to be great, but it's going to be better than wearing nothing. Now we just need to train Captain Planet up. In crafting. Hopefully with supercharges, they'll, they'll learn quickly. And then eventually we will, we will rebuild this. We will build the bedrooms. Um, the most important bit is though that we need to actually re need to rebuild this door like now. The rest doesn't matter as much, but we need the door so it's warm. Thicker walls are not going to do anything. Um, you you might think oh 510 HP that's a lot, but um. Mm, Fragnades do so much damage. They do 50 damage. They'll get through them so, so, so quickly. And they do extra damage to impassable buildings. So they do 4% damage. Um, so they do 200. So they just need to hit it three times. So even if you make two, two thick walls, that's fine. I mean, that's the ultimate goal, Corbu. That would be, that would be amazing. That would be the ultimate goal, but that's also going to take a while. Oh, poor, poor Wanda. She's trying. She's trying. She's definitely trying. <laughs> mm -hmm. The walls would be more, worth more than the colony. Yes. Yes, it, they would. Very much so. But that's the that I mean ultimately that's the goal. Oh my god, we locked a deer inside the bedroom. Oh dear, oh dear. Inspired creativity on pre-death. On a four. No, that's not worth it. Rimworld music is fantastic, yes. Both vanilla, the royalty DLC, as well as P Dash music. So good. So 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 good. Could I potentially convince you to fix the hole in the wall first i know i know on the priorities list building traps comes first before building walls but it would be really cool to fix that hole in the wall i know i know it's floors first and then security items and then walls but that wall is yeah important also okay our cleaner is gonna say what's our cleaner doing recharging hi skyperion hi how are you good to see you hello hi black bones good morning hello how are you today good to see you there's an order to how things are done yes yes not all construction jobs are created equal there's a priority in terms of what they built first I'm doing great, thank you. Yo, yo, Captain Planet. Maybe take a different room, not the one that's like super dirty. Yeah, take take the one that's not super dirty. Oh, do we are not oh we don't have guest beds yet. Here, here, have a guest bed, Andrelos. Good morning, Weimer. How are you? Good to see you as well. Hello. But yeah, no, there's there's a definite priority. Mm-hmm. 
And it's floors and bridges first, then security, as in traps, and then walls, for example. And other furniture items and stuff like that. If you get the numbers mods, you can tweak it more to your liking. That the you can you can switch around the priority of those drops. I think it's the numbers mods. I don't actually use it that mod, but I think it's that that one. Hey, relations change from 47 to 61 because the member exited healthily. Very nice. That is good. I guess we technically don't really need any colonists on hauling or cleaning anymore, do we? Because we've got the bots for it. Uh, yes, Corbu, it's called Giddy Up. And it has a whole bunch of um, side mods as well where you can um, write mechanoids and stuff like that. But yes. Mm hmm. Yeah, the cleaner bot is still charging up. Mixed deeds. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Exactly. Uh, what do I want? I want, I think, marble shelves. That. I think these. And then. Uh, link all selected. Perfect. Good. Is it a mod for infection? Like you no, that no. I think that's a different mod. Black bones. I think that's a different one. I don't. I don't think that's straight up. Uh, numbers. I think that's a different one. I don't know what it's called though. Yeah, I think that's... Is that not... Is that Fluffy's med mod? I don't know what it's called. Okay, your social impact is 70.29. Your social impact is... 95. Yeah, Captain Planet needs to trade. Yeah, I don't know the name. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Hi, Saras. Good morning. How are you? Good to see you. Oh, they only have slaves. Dang it. I don't want slaves. I was go trying to go and free people, but I don't want these. It's good to see you. Take those. Take these. Zilnora! Hi! It's lovely to see you. We do have a sniper rifle. Oh. FKS Oop, let me show my snoot here again. My left apudisco frog life are sex party that's a lot of L's. Oh boy, Zilora, thank you so much. It's, you do. I hope you're doing well. Oi, 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 oi. It's lovely to see you. Thank you so much for the 22 months tier three. That is incredible. Thank you so much for the continued support. I really appreciate it. How are you doing today? And hi, Shibis. Welcome. How much is the Rao stuff? You usually don't get to buy that stuff. You usually get it only as a quest reward. You usually only get it as a quest, quest reward. And uh, very rarely. Or you can find it in Ancient Dangers as well. Um, but it's very rare. Healer Mech Serums and Resurrector Mech Serums are very, very rare. Hi, Cape of Fire. Good to see you as well. That's a lot of letters. Nah, 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 nah. A lot of letters is uh, if you fill the entire reset message with antenna bars. Mr. Lloyd, happy Disco Frog Love and Six Party sounded really fun when she said it, right? Right? I know. It's good to see you, Zelnora. Sorry that you're having stuck, uh, t uh, um, struggling, st getting stuck into work. 
Hopefully, hopefully we can provide a, enough background noise that you can do it. It's good to see you as well. Good morning, uh, Keba. I hope you're doing well too. Alright. Oh, you're building the floor in here. That's good. Oh, the warg is being attacked by a grizzly bear. No! Not my warg. Well, well, dang it. Well, there goes the, the warg, I guess. Well, as a revenge, we will uh, eat you, I guess. You have a pretty Twitter banner now. Oh, that's awesome. That's cool. Let's go. Very nice. Aw, thank you, pal. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I appreciate it. I heckin' appreciate it. Oh my god. You're learn you're learning about plants. Yeah, you are. <laughs> We're trying. We're trying. We lost so many colonists. Now we are very much trying to uh get back on the bus. Just woke up, thinks your dad's cat meowing like hell outside your door. Oh bless the kitty. Okay, boom rap. Really? Okay, there it goes. I was gonna say, like, what? That is really cute. Do you think people will ever start just called X? No. No, it's gonna be Twitter forever. On purpose. I'm gonna call it Twitter on forever on purpose. Is that petty of me? Heck yeah. Am I still gonna do it? Heck yeah. Absolutely. Oh my god, there's so much repairing to be done. You did open it and then sit outside your room. Oh, that's cute. It's okay to be petty about it. Mm, it did change names, yeah. We could fix pre-death spite scar. By chucking them into a pod, but it would take a very long time. And I, I don't think we can afford that right now. Right, right, Milo, right. Exactly. Uh, what's the goal of my colony? So we... Oh, sorry. Ads. Uh, I'll say after ads. Uh, she is. <laughs> Unless you're not stuck in ads, but you probably are. You have to acknowledge it. Yeah. Is it supposed to be called zing instead of tweeting now? No, I think it's just posting. But whatever. Yeah, I think it's, suppo it's supposed to be only post, like posting, but pfft. I still tweet. Everybody's going to call it tweet. Sorry. There's that. Triple Xing. Oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. Yes. Off-brand short text posting. <laughs> or that. That works too. Yeah, that works too. That works too. Correct. Okay. You're at least... Okay, I mean... No, we, we can get pre-death there. I think we can get pre-death there. There is no roof over this, right? I'm just gonna double check just in case. Just in case there is a roof somewhere on this and stuff falls down, which we don't want to do. All right. Okay. Ads should be over. Shivas, what is my goal? So this is a whole tile build challenge. I stole this idea from a different streamer. And basically, the goal is, and this is very difficult, to build and incorporate every tile within the build border, so within this white line, into my colony. So eventually, hopefully, our colony will spread the entire tile, basically. And yes, it is insane and it is insanely difficult, and yet we're still doing it. 
Um, but it is very, very difficult. Also, Captain Planet is probably going to get eaten. Giant art everywhere. Right. This is terrifying. Oh, why are you stopping? I did not tell you to stop. Get them. Keep dodging, Captain Planet. Keep dodging. You're nimble, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Stupid. Kuga. How hurt are you? Not super hurt. Are you... You are my best doctor, though. So you need to tend to yourself. Can I wait until med classes are cutting off whole horrors in storage rooms? That That doesn't happen. That, that can't happen anymore. So actually, if you were to fill the entire tile, the AI actually, or the game actually kind of bugs out a little bit. It's like when you do um, those maps where the entire map is a mountain because mech clusters can't land on colony bits. So actually, if we were to successfully fill the entire tile, we would not be getting mech clusters anymore, but we would get lots of dropout rates. Hi, Anandar. Good to see you. Made the same idea with the zombie mod. You almost did it, but got bored. It's a lot of... It's a lot of building. An unexplored mountain before. Yes. Yeah, that can happen. But if if the entire tile is occupied and there's no space, they, they have no spot... Uh, no, no place to land. And they will not land on colony bits. So what will happen instead is... Um, yeah, we'll get like dropout rates and dropout rates and dropout rates. <laughs> Gonna be a lot of dropout rates. Okay, you're healing up. Hey, medical of one! Captain Planet! Let's go! Good morning, Giggles! Hi, how are you? Good, lovely to see you. Everything the light touches is FG's kingdom. Not quite. Yes, Lord's last time we played. We lost five people. We have since then gained one person and Captain Planet has grown into an adult. So, so... Yeah. It's been, it's been rough. My best doctor got from zero to one. Yeah. Luckily, luckily, I have Biosculptor pods. So, if we get something like an infection on people and we're not getting ahead of it in terms of you know infection versus immunity we chuck them into the biosculptor pods and that can fix them the problem is we had a raid where ruth got extreme toxic buildup so ruth now actually has dementia which the biosculptor pods cannot fix so that's a problem uh that's actually a big problem so we need to see giggly wiggly oh i love it so yeah we 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 were we were on very much on the brink of destruction we very much still are but we've maybe taken like half a step back i think we are yes giggles we are going to be front page uh, we have the chance to be on front page for the rest of the month now it actually started properly now and not like last friday where they messed up today that was planned well not necessarily planned planned because you know they put us on front page if there's a slot but yes today we are properly on front page and we were supposed to be and uh yeah today i was prepared <laughs> uh Last week, I was not. I mean, what we could do is we could open the Ancient Danger. We could open the Ancient Danger to check what's in there. That might be scary, though. Oh, hello, random heater. If there's mechs in there and stuff, that could be quite scary, of course. So we will need to see. What is your shooting? Five. Okay. Because supposedly... I'm going to say, I have a sniper rifle. You get that sniper rifle, please, actually. 
because then we actually have range. The chain shotgun are amazing for stopping power, but in close combat, you found me through Peachy. That sounds likely, Corbu. Yeah, you've never used it. I don't go through the front page either, really. But there's plenty of people who still do. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. We're also on the recommendation shelf. So what they do is there's the front page, but they also do a recommendation shelf uh, on front page as well. And uh, it's really, 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 really cool. So they're celebrating a lot of people and it's really, really, really neat. And they have the Together for Legendary Women shelf as well. And that is um, like tailored to your watching habits as well. And um, they will, they're quite likely to recommend um, channels that you would watch. You find it through your subscribe list. Did you get forced subscribe first? Hey, last Loki, welcome. You just came in from the front page. I appreciate it. Hi, thank you. And thank you for the follow. I'm glad. Thanks for clicking through. Appreciate it. It's wonderful to have you. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, we've got some visitors hanging out. Ah, no Mac raid. Got it. Got it. And then you got snipe. Not just kidding, but got it. Love a bit of room world. Yeah, a little bit of cheeky room world. We're just uh, not doing so well, but we're we're working on it. We're working on it. We're trying to claw our way back to uh, to not being of the brink of destruction because we very much are. But we're trying to do our best here. <laughs> you, you got sniped, yeah. Got here because we're a social room streamers. Not a lot of them lately. Yeah, there's always a bit of... um. A, yeah. It goes in waves. It comes and goes with room world. Um, especially since it's been... Well, almost one and a half years since the last DLC came out. So, yeah. It, we're currently a little bit on the downward trend again in the directory in terms of of people that stream at this time for example yeah 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 and it makes sense as well right it makes it makes total sense that the um interest wanes a little bit was there ever any talk of room 2 or any other game from the studio not really no no neither of those i think i think considering how successful the game has been I think they're just mostly going to focus more on DLCs as well. But who knows? Ludian have hired and have been looking for a multiplayer experience developer. So who knows what that means? And yeah, we'll see if there's going to be more DLCs and stuff like that. We have no, no idea. There are remote mods, yeah, that do multiplayer, yeah. But the studio itself has been looking for somebody experienced in multiplayer development. That's intriguing. Don't know exactly what it means, of course, but it is intriguing. Rimworld shooter builder. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I honestly, though, as much as I love Rimworld, I don't think I would want RimWorld 2. I think I would want something else from the brain of Tynan. Because I think he, he can he probably would come up with something insane again. Oh god, Death Song. I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy their components. Because ABC always buy components. And I'm gonna sell some of the terrible leathers that we have here to pay for it uh, I have a multiplayer DLC yeah yeah I have no idea how they would incorporate it because because the mods the multiplayer mods try and they run decently well but some of them also they broke they break a lot they they bug out a lot a remote RPG style thing yeah that'd be cool mm-hmm New DLC soon. Nothing's been said. Nothing's been said. Though, granted, they have a hospital bed. I'm going to buy that. 
Though, there have been some mumblings, let's say it that way, in the community. Um, because if you check the Steam database for RimWorld, there is an unknown app bit associated with RimWorld, which could be a DLC. There's actually an unknown bit of DLC that's associated with it. So if you check here on SteamDB, RimWorld, there is this. There's an app ID updated four days ago. So potentially, there is something, there is something at least being done. You know, there is something being done. So some uranium all right adventure mode would be cool that'd be cool yeah hi dark fire phoenix adventure mode would be cool but that's all i like i know nothing and i know no specifics or anything like that and that might not be dlc as in like new playable dlc that could still technically be just something like the name and game pack or anything like that like something new like that right that doesn't necessarily mean that that is play content playable content dlc yeah df adventure mode next year uh, next year what next month i know i know it's exciting hi pr fella as well good to see you but but all the butts yeah we'll see we'll see we'll see there's a red fox hunting captain planet it's always captain planet because they're still a teenager so they are technically smaller still than adults. Sorry. Maybe we should let Captain Planet not go outside just yet. Maybe we should do that. But yeah, I I like if you think like, oh, you you like play this game a lot and whatnot. Uh you should you should know things and whatnot no there is there is no there is yeah there is um uh, i have no secret knowledge of anything that's happening there's mystery day with a few past updates as well yeah 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 it's been it's there, it has been constantly be been updated as well every few days which Indica could indicate that we'll get maybe a DLC later this this year. That would check out because the DLCs do come out about one and a half to two years, two and a half years apart. So another DLC towards like October, November maybe, or maybe in a year from now could be likely. But I know nothing. I have secret knowledge. No, I don't. I do not. Not at this point. And if I had, I probably wouldn't tell you. <laughs> uh, winter face mask and a jungle kid shirt. All right. Cool, I guess. Thanks. Oh, who's throwing a party? Clap Captain Planet is literally uh, uh, throwing a party. Let's go. In here. In the ugliest room of the... Oh, but then there's that a melee fight and uh, the party's been called off. Cool. And Ruth cut off your toe. With a legendary uranium longsword. Gosh darn it. Am I the death? I wish, Corvo. I wish I were as smart as Titan. I'm great, Trunks. I'm having a fantastic week, honestly. The streams have been really fun. Chat's been like insane. Playing fun games. Is Lex the deaf? No. 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 He would be smart enough for it though, to be fair. Hi Hopka! Good to see ya. No, I'm doing great, thank you. No, like honestly. Been having a really good week. That's what the deaf would say. <laughs> Now, if you wanna, if you wanna see the, uh, hear the deaf speak, you can head to the, to, Zoe's or the Halcyon channel on YouTube. I think on, I think it's on ours. 
where we had an interview with Tynan. A couple of times. And just a chat and stuff like that. <laughs> Alright. Gosh. Well, there goes your tar. Silly Ruth. But yeah, it's a uranium. Oh, it's a gladius. Sorry, it's not a long sword, but it's still so good. Have you ever seen a dev and FG in the same room? Well, I mean... Yeah. You and your logic. <laughs> you and your logic. Okay. All right. How was Enshrouded yesterday? I had a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. We're playing more today. I'm roping Lex into playing with me. And there was death, of course, as well. Because that's how Enshrouded goes. Mm-hmm. So don't you miss the tar, but you also get radiation uh, poisoning to boot. Yeah. Exactly. No, it was really fun. I had a good time. So I roped Lex into playing more with me. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Okay. This is... I could do with more people still. But I guess for now, this is where it's going to be. What are we researching right now? Vitals monitor. Honestly, I shouldn't. I should go into security and guns and that sort of stuff. Oh! An 11-year-old ch child named Gera is calling from nearby. She's begging to join you at Hotel City. There's some kind of threat following you. A baseliner. 11. She's probably going to have terrible traits, but as I said, I cannot be picky. I cannot be picky right now. Okay, there's a zit. I see how it is, game. I see how it is. You're gonna there's gonna be a there's gonna be a raid threat. There's gonna be a raid threat following her because uh we accepted it and immediately um Cassie uh, Randy was like, I'm gonna drain your batteries now. But it's fine, we have enough power. Alright, let's check uh out this 777 chronological age. Bloodlust! Actually, and she already believes in arch archism. Praise the arch. Uh, already has some skills and a whole bunch of stuff. You know what? I'm not sad that I accepted her. Nope, this is good. This is good. I will, yeah, yes, this is good. There is potential. Yeah. I mean, we have, and we have like two years as well to educate her. So hopefully we can pick a good trade and good passions as well. Not sad about this one at all. So exclamation mark join if you haven't yet, because we name uh, colonists after viewers. So uh, make sure to do that. Uh, you don't need to be a sub or anything like that. We just, you just enter the, the name pool and then uh, we pick randomly. And then you might get to probably horribly die. Full disclosure. That's probably what's going to happen. There's probably going to be horrible death. Because uh, that's usually how that goes. You know. Just as a warning. That is usually how that goes. Alright. Perfect. You are jumping in. Which bed did you pick? Down here? No, you haven't picked a bed yet. Okay, fair. You're learning a lesson by yourself. Damn. All right. There we go. We'll assign you that bed over there. What are you learning? Don't know. Or maybe you're waiting for the educator to arrive. No, you're just sitting there. I guess you're just getting your learning up. Okay. Lesson in melee, hitting the table. Right, 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 right. Oh, you're running around. Okay, you need trousers. Let's make a pair of 
kid pants. Still alive. Yeah, for now, Delara. For now. For now. <laughs> we just got a new colonist. So if you haven't joined the pool yet, make sure to join the pool. Because we just got a uh, an 11-year-old child that will be followed by a thread. For sure. But we've got... We've got... Options. <laughs> so this is your five-second warning. To exclamation mark join and then we will pick randomly friday, hi dust friday, gotta get down on friday it is friday indeed quick dust make exclamation mark join before we pick go 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 quick also hi good to see you i hope you're doing well okay we made the trousers good there you go dust friday very nice there we go. Everybody jumping in. Last second. All right. Pick random. It's pale. Mr. Squishy. All right. Mr. Squishy it is. We have interesting colonist names. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Uh, though it does make it good to see her. And happy heckin' Friday indeed. Oh, you're drilling for pink marble chunks. Okay. That's actually good. That's great training for your mining. Because you have a double passion. You don't get a crap yield when you're trying to deep drill for stone chunks. That's actually a really good tra uh, way of, of training that. And we need lots of stone chunks as well because... Full tile build challenge... Building the entire tile is gonna whew, take a while. Mr. Squishy, I it, it's random, right? We randomize. Sorry. Random things happen. It's a thing. That's just how that goes. That's just how that goes. It's Hey. Give me all your gold or I'll mug ya. There we go. There we go. Exactly. Exactly. There you go. There you have it. I mean, it looks nice and tidy for now. I am just really worried about what threat is following Mr. Squishy. Honestly, that's what I'm worried about. There it is. I don't think... Psychic Suppressor. Okay. With a freaking centipede. I don't think that that is what's following her because it would say that also now officially happy friday yeah indeed if you're talking about top mine it out abandon it and then return um no it's not going to be mined out it's going to take a very long time until you can resettle there though if i'm not even sure i'm not sure if Vanilla lets you resettle a tile that you've been on before. You might need a mod for that. I don't think you can resettle a tile that you've been abandoned that you've abandoned in vanilla. Yeah, I don't think you can return at all. You can mine it out though. Okay. This has not actually initiated yet. That takes on turns on in in six. This is all dormant. That makes lances. Okay. But yeah, happy heckin' Friday. Yes, absolutely, Corbu. But luckily, you can build these deep drills. So deep drills are designed to go over resource deposits that you can find with the ground penetrating scanner, right? So there's uranium underground here, for example. And up here is steel underground. But if you just place them on a random tile... Uh, where there's no deposit, you will drill up stone chunks. So depending where you place it, you will mine up the different stone chunk types that are on your map. So on my map, there is pink marble and blue granites. And no, they never run out. No, these deep drills never run out. The resources like uranium steel, like those specific resources, those will run out. The stone chunks never run out. So you can just go and do a, a deep drill for them forever infinitely so we will be able to get get stone no problem it's just gonna take a long time 
there's also always a chance with deep drilling to get a deep drill infestation so i would just spawn a, an infestation which is why i placed it in the middle of this trap cluster so if we actually get insects spawning from it they'll run into the trap and die because luckily a deep drill infestation usually is much smaller than a regular infestation um but yeah that's that's uh, very much for the purpose of that okay i'm actually gonna reclaim that for my colonists the the guests can just sleep on the sleeping spots for now I'm just really, really... Infestations are a pain. Yeah, they are. Mm-hmm. It starts spewing lava. Oh, God. Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, I wonder. Eventually, something is going to follow, Mrs. Squishy. You're about to be streaking. You know, it's a bit annoying, but you can't help yourself. Oh, God. Everybody, avert your eyes. Dust Mickey is going to be naked in the chat. Ah! Ah! <laughs> FGS are uh, 75 stream streak. That is impressive. GG, that's me. GG. That is so impressive. Well done. That's a lot of streams. That's a lot of streams. Thank you. Thank you so heckin' much for that. And this would be in here. Thanks to every app. Ah, there's the Manhunter pack. Gera was traveling when she came upon a lost group of lions. She, in a bad mood, goaded them. Unexpectedly, they attacked her. They followed her a long distance. All right. Ten lions. All right. What if... We close this. They will not attack... I don't think they'll go for the mechanoids because I think they're... Because they're still sleeping. Yeah, unfortunately, they're not going to attack the mech cluster. Because the mechanoids have not been triggered yet. Uh, you tried to tell your co-workers yesterday they're making mutt laugh joke. Hey, the mutt was... That was a great pun. That was a good joke. Good morning, Shine Bee. How are you today? Okay, you're not going to go for it. Okay, we could we could try and get some meat. Because we're, we're running a little bit lowish anyways. Let's assign you. You go there, you go there, you go there. Waking up, you're radioactive. Oh, that's not good. Why are you radioactive? What did you do? Oh, but I also just realized it's raining, which is not great. Yeah, okay, you're just repairing the door now. Oh, from the song. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, we'll just we'll just leave you. We'll just leave you up there. They'll eventually run away, anyways. They'll eventually run away. I hope. Maybe. Fingers crossed. They should. They should run away. My coffee is empty. And luckily, the lions are not as loud as the small animals. Or eat the next caravan. Or that. Mm-hmm. Or that. That's a good point. Or the guests. The guests should not spawn without asking, like, permission. Because they'll be like... Um... They'll be like, um, visitors want to visit, but there's a threat on your map. Send them away or guaranteed safety. And then you can just be like, send them away. The underground resource thing is, do they also change? New ones get found. Yes. So people use the ground penetrating scanner. There is a random chance to find stuff, but there's also progress to a guaranteed find. So every time this hits uh, 100%, you find something. And... Um, like, the Nazi is doing it now? Yeah, there's random find and develop 3.4 days for her. And then progress to guaranteed find is 26%. And um, the higher their intellectual, the faster they um, fill up that percentage. And then you find more. Yeah, and you can just... And it's, it's unlimited. Like, if you just use it, you find more and more and more and more and more. It never runs out. Happy International Women's Day, indeed. Yeah. Thank you, Dasmi. Indeed, though. Yep, yep. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is going to take... I don't think this is going to wake up while the lions are still on the map, which is a bit of a bummer because lions do quite a lot of damage and there's 10 of them. They could probably take that on. It's slow infinite resources, correct? Yeah, it's a way so you never run out of resources on your tile. It used to be quite different, but it was changed. So you can play forever. Quest completed. The dreadful structure. Oh, this this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. So now this can get destroyed without spawning manhunters. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, for for the rest of March, starting from today... I am part of, uh, it's not because of what Kiri is doing, it's Kiri, because Kiri is on front page because of the Twitch Women's Guild, I'm on front page because of the Twitch UK International Women's Day slash Women History Month promo that they are doing, which is a different promo, and yeah, basically we also have a chance, for me it's not guaranteed to be on front page, but I have a chance to be featured on the front page if there is a slot and quite a high chance to be featured on the front page. Um, they picked a whole bunch of us, which is a really cool opportunity. Uh, I'm really grateful for Twitch and it's a really cool um, cool thing that they do. Uh, this is like the third year they're doing this. And um, they also always have a recommendation shelf um, on which will also appear, but we definitely have like a carousel slot this, this year, um, which is really cool. Hi. Cybertrask, good morning. And I'm really grateful for it. Last last Friday, we were already put on it accidentally because somebody at Twitch messed up because the it wasn't supposed to go live until today. <laughs> but somebody messed it up. So last Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, people were already on front page, even though we weren't supposed to be. <laughs> that was quite funny. Um, but yeah, starting today for the rest of the month, um, there is a very high chance that we'll be on front page. And maybe you'll see me on socials if something funny happens or, you know, things like that. It's a really cool opportunity. Mm-hmm. And thank you. What a day. It's been a, it's been a heck in a week, actually, does make, honestly. Like, in a good way, I mean. It's been, it's been kind of crazy. Not a, no, I, you know what? No, actually not. Actually not at all. No, it's been it's been a week. It's been like a good week. Like, can't complain honestly. Been good. Been good. And uh, yeah, now we've got this opportunity, which is also really, really, really cool. Okay, you're learning. Yeah, we're like maxing your learning. Good. So you'll you'll hopefully. She is eleven already. So going from eleven to thirteen, she probably will not max out her growth tier, but we'll try our best. Hi, Dark Princess. Good to see you. Hello. I really wish I could fix Ruth's brain. Mm-hmm. Darkness. Oh, oh, it's dark in here. We need a light in here. Oof. My bad. Because I put a roof in there. It counts as being dark. Even though this entire area is unroofed, it means that that one is dark. And that makes them ha unhappy. But there we go. Okay, got you. No longer dark. Very good. That is good. Because the uh, that's the one thing with the ground penetrating scanner. It needs to be under... under. It cannot be under a roof. So it needs to be open. How's it going, Dark Princess? Happy Friday. Good to see you. Hello. Yeah, we're mostly unhappy that we don't have artificial... Like, the, the thing that most of our people are unhappy about is that they don't have artificial enhancements. Bumble drones, that's fine. I think the lions have already left. Uh, one is technically there, still. But that's it. Yeah, they didn't stick around long enough. Type it good. Nice. I'm doing well as well. Thank you for asking. No, I'm having a great day, actually. I am having a great day. Hi, Maholic. The tiles look expensive. No, these are just these are just regular normal tiles. Um, just a different color because I use Qcompare Stone Tweaks mod, which just recolors vanilla stone. 
These are these are just regular ones. They're not fine tiles. They're just regular tiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to go fancy, we use the fine tiles. But that's fancy. Yeah, yeah, this is just it. The, the mod does not change the properties of the stone. It just gives it a different color. Which is much nicer because, because honestly, between you all and me, vanilla stone colors in RimWorld are really heckin' ugly. Like, really ugly. So, uh, yeah. I've been using the, the recolor mod for so long that when I look at somebody's colony and they're playing without it, it's like, oh yeah, I forgot this game can be really ugly. <laughs> oh, it's really funny. It's really funny. Reporting me to the Rimworld authorities. Fair, fair, Torlak, fair, fair. Hi, Kalidia, how are you? God, already level six mining. This is actually great. You like the vanilla colors? Really, Rivalish? No, I, I don't like them. I, I, full disclosure, I don't like them. I really don't. Yeah. The recolor mod, yeah. To be fair, to be fair, nowadays you don't necessarily need the recolor, like um, the CCP's color mod anymore because nowadays you can paint everything, right? And there's so many more colors available and you can just paint everything. So I wouldn't say nowadays this mod is necessary anymore, but I've played with it for so long that I'm now basically used to it. But yeah, if you're just starting to play Rimworld now, nowadays you don't really have to worry about it anymore because uh, you can just repaint it if you grow tinctoria you can just paint everything you slept in had a nice shower time to chill now that sounds fantastic oh yeah because you have a day off today because you live in an awesome place that actually gives people the day off for international women's day which is fantastic which is so nice enjoy your day off and your long weekend as well a large meteorite has struck the ground. Wait, what? What are you running away from? Oh, the lion! How is there still a lion in here? How have you not left? Oh, shoot. Well, misplace. Misplace. I can misplace again. And it's the one person that can doctor as well, of course. I honestly would have thought that that lion had left. But no, apparently not. Uh-oh, can we fix this in time? Oh, there goes the hand. And then you just get up and walk. All right, um... There we go. Pop in there and get better. There we go. You're just going to go collect the medicine and then go in there and get better. It is sunny, yeah. And then you fell over. Uh, put in for bio-regeneration recycle uh, cycle. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to we're going to we're going to fix everything. We're going to fix the the blood loss. We're going to regrow those hands. And everything. Okay. Really? Free death is a mime, are you now? So mime is a thing from alpha animals, which you can turn off if you don't want to play as that. Free death was a mime all along. His extreme hunger was too much for him. He will attack the rest of the colonists to try to satiate it. Basically, it's somebody who really, 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 really wants to eat humans now. Oh, heck. Well. Hi, Danfield. It is Friday. We'll do some, ta yeah, we'll do the tavern party in just a moment. God, you're terrifying.
Well, at least we got you down. Hate it when that happens. You can't turn that off. A mime. So basically a thing pretending to be a human. And they act as a normal colonist. Up until... Up until... They... Um, get very, 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 very hungry. And when they get very, very, very hungry, they revert back to being a mime. And then they will basically turn into man-hunting humans. Yep. To be fair, if you play with Aww. alpha animals, you can turn this behavior off. You can turn this off. You don't have to have mimes enabled to get to play with the... Um, with the rest of everything. Great. Well... In you pop. Get, get that infection sorted. That's not the death you expected, right? Right, Rebelisk? <laughs> right? Well, there, there you go. It's the thing ish. It would be terrifying. Yes. All right. Tavern party. Let's um, celebrate Rebelisk's um, attempt to join the colony. And uh, yeah, well, well, it's fine. It's fine. We'll just we'll just celebrate to feel better, right? So get your raves out. And let's have a little dance party. Let's do this. Let's do it. Gosh. How long are you going to be in there for? Okay, 2.2 days. That's not too bad. You're in there for 12. All right. Fire? Oh. That's fine. For now. Until that gets set on fire. Ooh. It's mimes as in... Uh, could also be basically like mimics. If you think of it as mimics, that might make more sense. Hey, Rusty Iron Cactus. Hi. Hello. Ooh. Yeah, and then we'll just fix this. We'll fix all of this as well. Thank you, Maholic. The person who makes my animated emotes is amazing. Also the person who makes my emotes, but uh, all of my animated emotes are made by Faye. And uh, the regular emotes are made by Libby. Hi, Shulao, good to see you. Hello. And uh, just to let you know, we're getting 20 more animated emotes sooner or later. They're literally being worked upon currently. Not right now, right now, but you know, at the moment, which is really cool. There we go. I'm just trying to save the power conduit. Right, Kaiju? I know. I know. 20 more emotes. Isn't that crazy? Do, 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 banana, na, na, na. It's so laggy because of the fire. Very nice. GG chat. GG. Oh yeah, we're getting we're getting really cool emards. I've already, I've not see, obviously I've not seen the finished ones, but I saw her like, you know, the sketches for them. They're gonna be so good. Yeah, there was a dry thunderstorm. That's fine. This is a stone wall. Stone walls don't, fa don't, don't burn. So that's fine. That's why I built... That's why we built walls out of stone and floors. Because they don't burn. Um, just a bit worried about this. Very interesting. Considering how much of the tile is on fire. That it's not raining yet. That is a bit concerning. But yeah, luckily... Luckily... Um, Stone walls do not burn. This might be too much for one person, though. Yeah, I think I think this is gonna get got. Because for some reason, we are not getting any rain right now. Okay, we're just gonna leave this. And then we'll fix it up after. 
Then you save the Boomerlope and a Hemolope. Then you had a Crash, Neutral, Giant, and now a Boombat. Randy, please. Hi, Sami, Killer B. Good morning. You can't sleep at the moment. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Also, thanks for the follow there. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Sorry to hear that. I hope I hope you can get some good rest soon, Sami, Killer B. <laughs> Extra crispy. Nice, Progena. Nice. Yeah, now we have power issues. That's the that's the biggest issue. Oh, it just destroyed their barricade story. It's like 5.30 in the morning. Oh, hopefully, hopefully you can get some more rest soon. Yeah, okay. The entire tile is going to burn down. There we go. Finally. Hot damn. Hot damn, Randy. There we go. Fix this. Can I put... Yeah. You. The thing is, you have to... Fire can literally fly. I can literally fly like three tiles, so you need to put like a lot. But eventually we will, yeah. Mm hmm. Hi, Chicken Ninja, and hi, Sakoon. Good morning. So, with the biotech release, the whole. Oh, there is a fire on the tile. Time to start the rain thing. Um. Basically, the timer in between those two things happening has been increased. So, you can get fire and then randomly, it depends on how long. Like the, 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 the timer has increased between a fire and a guaranteed, guaranteed rain to put out the fire. And uh, this was one where the, the time between the fire and the rain was very, very long. All right, we have a quest. Agnes Arianites. Uh, Ari Ari I was going to say Agnes Ariantes, but I think this is not Ariana Grande. Going to lay down. Yeah, no worries, Sammy Killer B. No worries. Hope you get some good more rest. Thanks for stopping by, though. Hopefully we can... My, my dulcet tones can lull you to sleep. Uh, Agnes, a praetor of the Exodus Empire, recently lost a scouting party to a pack of seven man-hunting elephants. She wants you to draw the beast towards you to kill, to uphold her honor. Six champions will be placed under your control. Six champions? Well, you know what? Yes. Um, the champions have arrived. They're all melee. Ooh. So, um, FG is gonna be a cheeky butt. FG is gonna grab them. And we're uh, gonna go wake up and say hello to the mechanoid cluster instead, because we can fight the men, the 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 elephants later. But uh, that's better. That's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're definitely gonna do this. This is good. How much longer? Oh, it's already on. Okay. All right. You go there. You go there. You two go here. And then you two go next to the centipede. Because FG is being smart, because why should I sacrifice my own people if I can use these who can totally die, you know? All right. Uh, go over there. Attack, attack, attack. And luckily, right now, it's also raining. So the fire doesn't matter as much. All right, you go for that one. Because it's going to put out the fire on the dudes much faster. You've got your mark. Yeah, Rook. Awesome. Let's go. Very nice. Very nice. I'm so glad it already arrived. That's so fast. Everybody got mugged. By, uh, by Guppian. That's so awesome. I'm glad it's already arrived. Wonderful. That is awesome sauce. Uh, you actually attack the centipedes. Join the mug club. Yeah. Have a good lurk, Zilnora. Thank you so much for hanging out. And go get ready for your grocery delivery. That centipede burner is kicking butt though. Holy moly. Uh, rescue. How, how hurt are you? Oh, you'll, you'll be fine. Rescue. 
And you just go bonk bonk. Nice. Well, there goes the mechanoid cluster. Nice. And we're throwing a party. The kid is like, let's celebrate. We're going to have a party. We're going to have a party. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um... Well, apparently, it turns out Mr. Squishy is the best doctor. Again, it's always the child somehow. That is weird. But it is what it is. You get to enjoy a third coffee now. Let's go. Very nice. Okay, where's the other one? Pusella. Oh, Pusella's being delivered. Infection on Tau Possible. Okay. Well, Mr. Squishy's gonna get lots of medical experience now. That's good. There's the Manhunter pack. Oh god, there is still a... Uh, there is still a caravan from the Empire here. Oh no. Oh god, the elephant have elephants have arrived. Well, we might get to rescue more people from the uh, Empire. In just a moment. Okay, we got you. We're getting you. Hey, Ruth is done with her cycle and is now all happy and good again. Very good. Okay. They kind of murdered those people. Like, really murdered those people. All right, Ruth. The nazy. And of course it's raining again. It's always raining when these when this happens. It always rains. Somehow it always rains. Free food, whoever wins. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, wait, shoot. Uh, open. Oop. You go to the side. Jovian, you go here. Who else is pretty good? None of them. Okay. Go, Jovian! Nice. We got this. It's so violent, though. But the good thing is they softened them up quite nicely. Well, there goes Jovian. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Get you not killed by an elephant, please. That'd be great. That's fine, though. Jovian dying is fine. How is this elephant still alive? Okay. Jeebus. Oh, God. There are more. Ow. How hurt are you? Quite hurt. Uh... Okay, you go to bed. Go, Mac. Tank them for us. Thank you. Thank you, little constructor bot. All right, Mr. Squishy. Send. What are you doing? Oh, because you got up over there. Okay. I see. Holy smokes, that took forever. Okay, but we did it. Wait, there's still one. There is still one around. What are you at right now? Six hours, okay. 
And yes, I'm using the good meds on purpose. Where are you going? Well, you're dying in six, so hopefully I'll be all right. You'll be okay, I hope. Oh yeah, you're getting good tense. Good. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's fine then. Mr. Heck and Squishy, though. I swear, this colony without the children, we'd be dead. Without the children, we we would have already lost this colony. Such a long time ago. Okay, it's fallen over. We're free. All right. There we go. The max. All right, cool. We did it. Are you okay? Yes. Day 40 hype. Let's go. Day heckin' 40 hype indeed. Pods have arrived. Oh, yeah, because we got stuff for this. Uh, Mr. Squishy. Tent. Hi, Gold Claw. So, I actually got a key for it. Uh, I have not yet played it though. I've not redeemed the key yet because unfortunately, or somebody mentioned to me before I did that unfortunately you cannot turn off motion blur in Robin Hood Sherwood Builders. And motion blur is the thing that triggers my simulation sickness. So I will probably not play it because it literally would make me sick. I did have a good time with the demo though, but apparently there's not been that much updated since the demo. So we'll see. I might try it and then write a review to like make pay my dues in terms of keys and stuff. Um, but yeah, so apparently you can't turn motion blur off at all. So that's a bit of a bummer. Hi, Nika. Good to see you. Also, chat. It's been almost three hours. I need to take a quick break because I need to pop to the bathroom. So I'm going to do that real quick. Thank you all so much for being here. And your incredible support today welcome to all the new followers on that note if you're new here hit the follow button uh, if you're watching on youtube subscribe over there and check out all of the things and i will be right back thanks so much for being here
It's Friday, Friday, we gotta get down on Friday. all right everybody thank you all so much for sticking around and waiting for me much appreciated i'm back thank you all so much for waiting and hi spiky how's it going happy heckin friday hello how are you today good to see ya hi ralph thank you happy friday and thank you appreciate it hi y'all right <laughs> all right oh we have a silver spear oh we should haul that they're taking a wounded guest that's fine hi back when hecker mans um 40 ish minutes depends on traffic mark yeah depends on traffic or it shouldn't be too too long you can do it Oh, have changed. Member exited the map healthily. Let's go. Mr. Squishy, feed, feed the sick person, please. Not just Friday, but also ho holiday. For you as well. Nice. For me, it's not, but that's okay. Because I'm hanging out with awesome chat. Playing a fun game. Having a good time. Sorry. All good. Oh, wait not rotten yeah because this is icky we don't want rotting elephants in our freezer you are awesome chat is heckin awesome i mean without you i literally could not do this as my job and it's a freaking great privilege to be able to do this as my job you're not yes you are shush Mm-hmm. You totally are. Oh, you have plum cake. Oh, that's amazing. When Lex onesie time. I mean, we could get Lex in a onesie today if we were to hit the... Uh, the sub goal today, I suppose, Mark? Or do you mean the promised co-op driving thing? Uh, oh, Mecklenburg Vorpommern also has International Women's Day as a holiday. That's so cool. That is so awesome, by the way. 
I knew about Berlin because Kalidia talked about it. But yeah, that's awesome. Oh, the promised one. Well, so I don't know when Expeditions gets multiplayer. Because they've not said anything. So we might just do some driving instead. Yeah, but in a, in a onesie, Chicken Ninja. You're going to make an attempt at Lama Tune. Ooh, let's go. Lama Tune is great. Oh my god. Our dinner yesterday was so... Oh, thank you. Our dinner yesterday was so tasty. It was just a simple, like... Pasta with tomato sauce type thing. But then it had chorizo and bell pepper and stuff. It was so tasty. Thank you so much for using my humble link to buy stuff. Thanks for the support. Yeah, I, I have no idea, Mark. I wish I knew when Expeditions were getting multiplayer, but they haven't even... So far, they've not even released a patch yet addressing the most, the biggest issues. So, I uh, yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it definitely needs... It definitely needs some polishing. And so far, it just doesn't have... Yeah. They've not... They've not... Patched anything yet so far. So, it's probably going to be a couple of whiles. Chorizo. Yeah, it was so tasty. The secret of salt on your taste buds. It's, it works really well in tomato sauce. It was very tasty. It was very, very tasty. Oh, yeah, Ruth is currently... Oh, you're not. Why are you not... Repair the... Repair the mechanoid, please. Because I was like, oh, you're currently in there. No, but that's Captain Planet. Because of the hand that was bitten off. How much longer are you in here? Seven and a half days. Okay. Okay, but now the Constructoid is back. Hey, thank you! Thank you so much, whoever is doing the things. I appreciate it. DLC for the first one, Platty! Thank you! Okay, die does go in there. Thank you so much for using my links. I appreciate it. Thanks for the support. Very, very heckin' kind of you. All right, I'll put Captain Planet on the right-hand side for now because Captain Planet is currently obviously not available. For shenanigans. How good is your plants? Five. I mean, actually, you're getting there. And then Captain Planet, yeah, once you're back, we'll skill you. Chorizo Chunks cooked over a campfire. I've not done that. Hi, OMG, I love steak. You know, onesie means unfollow. But... But it's not in my hand. Onesie time is not in my hand. That's all on. That's all in chat. That's all on chat. I can't. I can't. And we've had onesie a lot. We've had a lot of onesie this week. So yeah, I I don't decide onesie time. I don't have that power. <laughs> you know. So. There's that. Work Frenzy on Mr. Squishy. I don't spiky. I'm literally physically, it's physically impossible for me to put on a onesie. Without the sub goal being met. I don't know, it's just this, it's this weird thing, this weird... Compulsion that just stops me from putting it on, you know? So no, it's just what it is. Uh, no power ones are in clothes, correct. Uh, the closest store... You don't either. The closest store only unlocks at 69 subs. Gotcha, right? To be fair, we're at 10 out of 69. So, you know. We're making progress. You looked after a dog called Squishy ones. Uh, pale writer's choice was Mr. Squishy. Wanderer joins Clara. A royal bastard named Clara. Yes. Oh gosh. Are you a dirt? Oh, a dirt mole. 
Well, I guess we have somebody now who can do mining. I guess we have somebody who can do mining now. That's good. All right. I don't usually play with dirt molds. What do they do? Fast healing. They're sensitive to UV light. They're slow runner. They're strong in melee. They have dark vision. No, there are actually a minor minor because they're 17. So they're actually a minor minor. <laughs> Great at mining, nearsighted, which means they are really crap at shooting. Okay. And they can see well at night. So you're going to be a night owl without being a night owl. Yeah, you're just going to be a night owl without being a night owl. That's just how that's going to go. Yep, you're just going to be a night owl without being a night owl. Royal bastard. Why is she a royal bastard? Oh, Clara was the child of a lord and a prostitute. Her father's line was secure and his holding strong. Nobody ever came to Clara to endorse a bid for the title. She earned her bread cleaning the brothel, but always felt she deserved much more. That, that, that's how that goes. Hey, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Well, I guess we have a miner now. That's good. And she can doctor as well. Slightly better than, than others. We have no animals. We have no animals whatsoever. We had a work, but the work, um, the work unfortunately uh, was killed in a breach raid. The colony grows. Yeah, right? A little bit. Tiny bit. Not even a ferret. No, we have nothing. We have three mechanoids, though. We have three mechanoids. So, yeah, exclamation mark join if you haven't yet. Because Clara needs a name. Oh, yeah, no, you're actually right. You're right, Shelmar. It was a bear, not the breacher raid. You're right. Thank you. Yes. Which one named Captain Planet? <laughs> Chad, of course. Can you name Max? I guess you can, technically. Rar. You're innocent. Yes. Chibi did it. All right. Uh, exclamation mark join. You have five seconds before I pick randomly. Everybody can enter. You don't need to be a sub or a follower or anything like that. Shoot, Alex Bio, you're right. Yes, I already forgot. Thank you. Literally already forgot. FG brain fart. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. FG completely brain farted that one. Thank you. All right, bunny headers in. All right, pick a random. Anandar, welcome to the colony. Yeah, you are. Your title is Royal Bastard. <laughs> I'm sorry. You call BS. <laughs> no, no. Oh, it's all correct. Where are you sleeping? You're not sleeping at all. But uh, also already believes in our ideology, so that's awesome. Hopefully this one's not a mime this time around. We'll see. Greedy wimp beautiful. Oh my god. I guess you hit really hard, but you also don't deal with pain very well. I see how it is. Fair. Okay, you are you are a dirt mole. Yeah, Captain Planet is an adult now. I know. Uh, is an adult lost their hand, bitten off by a lion, so they're currently in a pod, regrowing their hand. Mm-hmm. 
Ruth, where did you get a marine helmet from? I don't know. Because I don't feel like I bought that, but okay. Let's see if saw this day with this doll, right? Right? I know. Yeah, they grew up. They have grown up indeed. Mm-hmm. I know. eBay got it. I see, I see, I see. Okay, we're on three. That's one trade from four options. Go for the eyes. <laughs> Always. My god, my this tile just looks. This tile has been through some stuff in the last few years. Like there was toxic fallout and everything died, and then there were giant fires, everything died. Insanity. And then my Pollux tree died, which is very rude. So I need to buy, get my hands on a new one if we can. Yeah, Captain Planet is going to need some uh, therapy. Growing up in this colony, I think so. Not in Vanilla Rim World. Uh, Mark, and I have no mods that affect um, that sort of stuff. So, no, un unfortunately, actually not. Mm hmm. IRL, yes, but uh, not, not in. Uh, not in my save file, at least. But you can get. Obviously, mods that do affect it. The Titan Galaxy. Well, we did We did have Admiral Universe, who then did die. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because uh, they're currently in the pod. Because they got really, 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 really hurt. And they're bleeding out. And they were downed. And they lost their hands and stuff like that. Sorry. We fixed up their bleeding and shoved them into a pod. Where they're currently regrowing, uh, while well, they're fixing the blood loss, the bite wounds, they're regrowing a hand and a toe. Mm hmm. A faction system works for a mech raid quest. Nine people with revolvers and auto pistols with a shooting of two to four. The marine armored pawns were like, sure, you go first. Well, sorry, I got that. I got that elephant quest, right? And. They sent me for some reason to fight off like n seven man hunting elephants. They sent me six melee fighters. So I was like, okay, you melee fighters, thanks for your help. Please go clean up the mechanoid cluster first. No, the ground way. No, this is um trans. So this is an ideology thing. So biosculptor pods, uh, you can get access to if your ideology has transhumanism, um, uh, has the transhumanism meme. And then you can get the Biosculptor pod. And then you have to do the... Biosculpting and Bioregeneration research. And then you can use the pods to regrow limbs. They can't fix anything though. They can fix... They can fix wounds. They can fix infections. They cannot, however, fix dementia. So, we have Ruth right now that has dementia which is a big problem so we need to fix that she got dementia because of toxic uh build up uh, transhumans prefer architect though well not necessarily architect they do prefer being um having replacement body parts though which can actually be a peg leg <laughs> Like, if you give a transhumanist, uh, somebody that believes in transhumanism, a peg leg, they'll be happy. Yeah, I, I just, I don't have bionics really available yet. So, for now, we'll just fix them. They do get the whole, or I don't, I don't have a body part, like, I don't have an extra body part replacement thing. But it's, it's, it's not a big debuff. 
Yeah, it's a minus three. It's not too bad. Uh, the plus three for several parts is kind of sad, though. Yeah, it's it's not a big thing. Not the biggest thing, that's true. Yeah, it's not the it's not the the biggest. That's true. The biggest buff or debuff. The debuff that actually makes well, not the yeah. The debuff that has a harsher impact actually is the whole if they can't do um H reversal. Yeah. If they if you fall behind on the H reversal, which you also do with the Biosculptor pod, that makes them much more unhappy in the long run. And obviously putting them in the pod makes them unavailable to use as a colonist for quite a while. And then you obviously need to run the neural superchargers as well, which need a lot of power. So I really like playing the transhumanist stuff. I, lo I love that aspect about RimWorld, but it also messes, like it, it increases your power demands a lot. It really increases your power demands by a lot. I'm gonna start kicking these things out. Hi, Kitsune, good to see you. A traversal is pain in the butt. Yeah. You could make them love nutrient paste. Yeah, but I don't need to do that. Are the pots biocoded? Yes, they are. Yeah, and the revision can fix limbs. Correct, yeah. Yes. They are they are biotuned. They're not necessarily biocoded. It goes away if they don't use it, and then somebody else can use it again. But if they are biotuned, and if the person using it is a transhumanist, the usage speed is increased. Imps have arrived nearby, approaching from multiple angles. They're attacking immediately. They'll avoid turrets and avoid traps. That's okay. That's fine. We should be all right. Well. Okay. The armored leopard got uh, angry and started attacking them. And now there's a fire again. At least got hurt and lost the pinky. Okay, there's four down there. Fire. Oh my god, you already are in. Oh my god, that, they got here so quickly. Holy smokes. Okay, that's too... Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. We got it. Got... I hate imps so much. Hi, Jubilant. Thank you. I hate imps. I hate them so much. There we go. We'll just use you to fight the fires. Does, do we have anybody? No, we don't. I was going to say, do we have anybody that has the um, a fire farm pack on them? But we do not. Okay, you're fleeing. Is that the... Okay, there's one more group. Short circuit. Yeah, short circuit can be rough. If you've got power dependent community... Uh, a colony like that, short circuits can be rough. Yeah. I just don't want the deep drill to burn. Get them! Nice. Come on. There we go. Yeah. 
Help with the fire. Good. You, uh, you'll be fine as well. Okay. Lost some traps, but overall... Overall, not too bad. They just... They got inside really quickly, though. Hot damn. All right, Mr. Squishy. Oh, Anandar is on it. I guess Anandar is pretty good at the whole medical thing. As well. Good, good, good. And then the Constructor bot is just like, must rebuild! And the Hauler bot is, must burn and cremate. Who the heck dropped 17 herbal meds? That's a lot of herbal meds for raiders to bring with them. Nice. Fleet of feet. <laughs> mm-hmm. Definitely. Definitely. Ah, there's the fire. But then there's also a thunderstorm. So there's more fire. Hmm. Trying to figure out where would the best spot for a hospital be? I guess over here. Be close to our own kill box because that's where we're going to get hurt a lot. I mean, we're going to have more than one hospital anyway, right? Like, that's just how that's going to go. I also put a roof there, just so trees can't grow there. Because they keep growing and we don't want them blocking our, blocking our kill box there. Fire! Wee woo! Wee woo! We're Sven when we need him, right? Mm-hmm. Where is Sven and, Sven and his siren when we need him? A benefit of killing in the dry, right, Sir Jubilant? Right. Also good to see you. Hi, happy Friday. And happy Friday as well, Kazuna. Thanks for hanging out. Two more days for Captain Planet. More fire. Oh come on. On my trap. As well. That's just cheeky. Come on. Silly Randy. Happy Friday. Nice. Okay, but you're back up as well. This is an all-female colony. No. Ruth is female. Anandar is. Mr. Squishy is. Nanazi is not. And Captain Planet is not. You know. Fairly balanced. Fairly balanced. You're just gonna get crazy mining, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Sunlight sensitivity. Oh, the sunlight comes up at, tw at 4 o'clock in the morning. I mean, I guess... 4 o'clock in the morning, still in the, in the autumn, aka okay, fall. What? Poppy, maybe you'll have a beer. <laughs> they change how deep drills work what do you mean so if you drill over a resource you get said resource if you put a deep drill down without there being a resource you just get stone chunks mark and once you put it down it'll tell you what stone chunks you get so down here there is pink marble so we get pink marble chunks but if you have the scanner and you scan and then there are things if I were to place it here, we'd get a uranium. Hi, Pumo! Good to see you! So yeah, if you deep drill where there's no resources, you get stone chunks. They can be moved now. 
They've always been able to be moved. For a, they, what, they've been able to be. And welcome to the cult. P.S. It's my birthday. Yay! It's me. not. But hi. Um, they've been able to be moved for a very, 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 very long time. I think the ability to move them was added when components were added to the game. But don't quote me on that. No, it's not my birthday. Good morning, Keeper of Time. Hi. You're up early. It's not my birthday, though, but I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. I'm doing great. I'm having a fantastic week. Hey, Puma with a stream streak. Let's go. It's not my birthday, though. Man, as man, much man. as do, do, chat. Man, man, man. Do, 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 do. Tries to make that happen. Not my birthday. Not my birthday. No, no birthdays. No. Hey, Storm. Hello. Not my birthday. Where... Is it an ideology? Yes. I always have to search again where the styling station is. Counterpoint, it is an FG birthday. No. No, I have 74 more days. 74 more days before I'm an even older fart. <sighs> Probably at this point in time, Rubelish, tens of thousands of times. Yeah, I presume it's been tens of thousands of times. Maybe I need a counter. I'd have to hit that counter literally 10 times per hour at least i don't think i can be bothered i don't think i can be bothered because i just be hitting the counter all the time no it's not keeper of time no 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 birthday that's what it feels like omri yes No, it's not my birthday. Not yet. All right, Captain Planet is almost ready to come out of the pod. Yay! We're actually a little literal pod people, chat. But 11 more hours. Heck yeah, let's go. Very nice. Then we finally have a crafter again. Because, um, yeah, our, cra our actual crafter died. So we kind of had to designate Captain Planet to be our crafter. There is no cake, Spiky. The cake is always a lie. The real pod people. Exactly. That's who we are. Uh, there is no cake. The cake is a lie. There is no cake. Doo -doo. Ooh, growth tier four. Not bad. Okay. Considering this is a person we didn't get until they were 11 years old, this is going pretty well. There are so many colonists waiting for a resurrection, Marius. I know, I know. I've not yet even seen the option to get a resurrection serum, though. We might never do. It's so rare nowadays. I don't have it modded in. I don't... Hmm... I don't think Sparkling Worlds lets you... Actually, Sparkling Worlds might, in the very, 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 very end, let us craft them. But by the time that we can craft them, they've probably at least ha are rotten, if not desiccated at that point. So we have to wait and see. All right, Captain Planet is back. Heck yeah. Welcome back, Captain Planet. Let's go. Nice. Now we have a crafter again. My friend pre-death died. Well... They were a mime. They were trying to eat us all, you know. Captain Planet, we kind of had to. We kind of had to deal with them. Oh, yeah. Have I tried voodoo? Who do? You do. I have not tried voodoo, no. Since voodoo is not a, a thing in the, in the game. But maybe you might do one. Who, who do? You do. Exactly. Let's go. Let's 
You do, we do. Forsaken va vagabonds. Ooh. A group of three deferred refugees are approaching, consisting of Keith and two children he has taken under his wing. They claim to have lost their home in a recent attack. Keith begs you to stay at, with us for 16 days. They can rest and regroup. They offer to work and fight for free at the time. Yes. Yes. Please come in. Flatly. Honestly. Uh, nost nostril and nag. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Oh, gosh. They're immediately being hunted. All right, you go inside. Where's Keith? Over there. Why are you running in that direction? Okay, you hit him once. Good. Yeah, because Bunny Hedger shares a birthday with me. So there's that. Oh, my God. Is Keith going to die immediately to the Armored Leopard? Because if sorry, that would be ridiculous. Muscle parasites. Oh my god, you're gonna... And now the children are hostile! Are you kidding me? Oh my god, the children are attacking the armor leopard. Oh no. So the armor leopard hunted Keith because the armor leopard was hungry. So he died. So now they turned hostile. Which means they're angry, but the animal is manhunting. So now they're attacking the manhunter, the manhunting animal, and I have a feeling the children might die. No, the children killed the armor leopard. That's actually impressive. Tough. And no traits. You're three years old! Oh god, okay. Um We're gonna take you off a of fire at will, put you inside. We're gonna try and see okay, this sounds okay, okay, hear me out. This sounds really violent, but we're gonna try and see if we can subdue them without using weapons. And then imprison them and recruit them. Oli! Oli, thank you! Snowzing don't know how you do the voodoo that you do so well, it's a spell. Hell makes me wanna shoop 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 sing snorter. Oli! Thank you so much for the 100 bits! Appreciate it! Thank you, thank you! Much appreciated. Okay, we're gonna try to be nice here. Oh god, Nostril. I think Nostril died. Okay, Nag didn't die though. Okay. Nag is the tough one. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright. Capture. Hey, it's Rimworld! They, okay, they attacked me first, alright? I was just gonna let them be. And then they attacked me. Thank you, Uli. I really appreciate the support. Thank you. Convert. Uh, so next to a baby for a 10 hour flight. I didn't think it was possible for someone to scream for a 10 hour straight. Even the baby was impressed you pulled it off. <laughs> GG, Sholen Monkey. Off you go to the pungent with you. But it's good to see you. And thank you again, Uli, so much. Oh, the booties. Appreciate it. Oh my god. Oh, you've got muscle parasites. Oh gosh, you should not be doing the medical tending. Okay, you... Oh, you're tending to yourself. Oh, no, Mr. Squishy, you get in there. Because, uh... You don't have muscle parasites, so that's gonna be... Good. Or rather, should I say better? There we go. All right, cool. There we go. Psychic Soothe. Nag can walk. And Nanezi is fully healed. All right, cool. Now we just have Muscle Parasites on Captain Planet. Nanezi. Anandar. Great. All of the adults except the one with dementia have Muscle Parasites. 
Lovely. Lovely. All right, you. What's your favorite? That's your favorite color? Really? That's your favorite color, Ruth? Wow, that's a bit boring. But okay. Yeah, because if they wear uh, two-thirds of their clothes if they're the, it's their favorite color, they get a slight bonus to their mood. Not much, but like a teeny tiny. Your favorite color is also brown? Oh my god. You found your original StarCraft CD. Nice, let's go. Very nice. He's calling it. Okay, favorite color. You at least have nicer colors. All right. Oh, purge the unclean. Nice. God, we look so boring. It's just brown and purple. All right, let's go. Oh, you need to. You need to get. Uh, we need clothes. We need to hunt so we can make clothes. Black brown because it's the color of chocolate. Fair, I guess. Hi. Mm. You're not that cold today. No, no, no. What are you doing? No. You're not that cold. I said that cold. Yes, you are that cold. Okay, uh, hunting. This is not gonna give me what I need though. Where's the mega sloth? Over there. All right, you three, let's go. You can't do that on stream. What? Can't do what? Because he just did. Ooh! Oh god, I forgot that Captain Plan is still, still technically a child, so they're very slow. They don't have their maximum speed yet. Run! Run like the wind! Also, no, Mark, it's definitely not my birthday. Oh. Oh. Uh, b -b 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 -b. So precision rifling next. We can go and hunt those as well. Yes, those deer are just stuck in there forever. No, not again. No, it's not my birthday. No birthdays. Okay, so because this gave us some heavy fur, so hopefully we can make some clothes with that. Maybe. We'll see. Rebuff by Anandar. Oh, I see. Hmm. Got these muscle parasites. I'm going to turn off self-tent on everybody that has it on. Because we don't want the people with muscle parasites to self-tent. 23%. Well, Nag at least is almost converted. So that's good. Bye, Siku, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful Friday and have a great weekend. No, that was not happening. He was just putting his hands here. 
his cold fingers. He was just he was just trying to make me feel cold. Cause he's a silly butt. He was just being cheeky. Hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you. All right, where are you? Are you on your way? Yes, good. Oh, every time the animals go mad, it's heckin' raining. What's up with that? Thank you, Sukun. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Okay, 7.4. One more chat should do it. One more chat should do it, and then we should have them, which is awesome. That's very, very, very good. Oh, yeah, reopen the door. Thank you. Oh, I need to force it. There we go. Unrestrict. That's fine. Actually, no. Restrict Captain Planet as well to inside for now. Because they are, they are technically an adult, but they're still a teenager. So they are smaller. But they still get targeted more by animals. And they're slower as well. Even though they're a nimble jogger, they're still slower. Yeah. And then the muscle parasites. Wait. I thought it said it was fixing your hands. Oh my god, it didn't fix the hand, it only fixed the toe. Oh, for crying out loud. Really? Well, now I've, I desperately need glitter work medicine. Dang it. Mm-hmm. Well, that, that sucks. But I guess it is what it is. That totally sucks, yeah. Got a hand, lacking a hand, and then muscle parasites. What's your manipulation like right now? 18. I would argue hands are more important, CCP. I would argue hands are more important, but I don't have good development, so we can't regen. We can fix the muscle parasites, but that's it. Are you still on good meds? All right. Oh, you're wor working on converting Nag. You should be. There we go. All right, cool. Nag's converted. Hi, you. Bring light in. Good to see you. Hi. How's it going? Happy Friday. Hello. Hope you're doing well. All right, cool. So we're working on recruiting you now. I wish you could, I wish you could, if you have children as prisoners, sounds horrible, I know, saying it like that, I know, but I wish you could recruit, uh, you could educate children that you've imprisoned. So you can still get them to do their learning thing while they've been in prison. Because sometimes you imprison them. If they are your own colonist as well. Just to convert them. Because conversion is so difficult to do. So it would be lovely if I could still. Educate them. Sweepy. Fair. 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 
Well, I guess at least this is gonna skill your crafting. So there's that. All right. Well, well, well. We'll see how it goes. Nanazi is technically on hunting. What are you busy with? Oh, growing. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, and you're the you're just the baseliner, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, spacecraft chunks. Get those for the components. Gladly. Thank you very much. We'll do that and then So far, so good. Tattered apparel. Oh yeah, wow. That is tattered apparel, heck yeah. Oh, I wonder... I wonder... Is there anything to trade? Well, actually, try, try instead trading with that person. We can trade terrible melee weapons away. Make a bit of space in our inventory like that because you don't actually have anything with you. Okay, trade with lamp. Do you have anything? Psychite tea. Tiny minuscule trades. All right, fair enough. How are we looking on the converting here? 11.5, not converting, um, recruiting. Also, let's try to entertain our guests. Because uh, we have hospitality and entertaining them, we can we can also skill our social while doing that. We just need to fix Ruth's brain. That's the only thing that we need to do. We need to fix her brain, which is easier said than done. But maybe we just need Luciferium. Maybe we just need the Lucy. And that, that'll help, potentially. Well, I mean, eventually it will, if we don't run out. If we run out, that's a problem. Uh, yeah, so with guests, you can, with the hospitality mod, you can set it so that your, the people that you assign to it, to entertaining, um, that they go and talk with visitors and like um, entertain them and charm them and make friends and increase your relationships and stuff like that with them. It's a really cool, uh, cool bit from the, um, yeah, from the hospitality mod, because you can train your social and like make sure that their visit was good, so they come back and they like you and all that sort of stuff. It's a really neat thing. I like it a lot. Okay, the child is doing the, well, did that tending. 62% on your muscle parasite star. That was a good tend. Gosh. But getting those those percentages up to 300 is gonna take a while. That is gonna take a while. Because my best doctor is a three. Oh boy. That's gonna take a while. Mm-hmm. That is going to take quite a while. But yeah, the, the whole charming and talking to thing is not super good to do if you're kind of just starting out a colony because it takes a lot of time. 
but it's a nice way to like actually interact with visitors and then technically if you charm them enough and you like they make friends with people you can then use hospitality to recruit people into your colony as well you take a faction rep hit if you recruit away from their colony but um you know if they're really 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 good people it can be really worth it like for example this person james lamp an aesthetic optimist with that crafting medical social intellectual i would i would um take that person in a heartbeat if we could we can't though the only person we can't technically recruit is lyra the worker with also good stats but i don't like the chemical fascination new lovers oh gosh lyra charm nanazi by loading his facial hair nanazi responded well is now lyra's lover but lyra is not a colonist oh no See, that can technically then happen as well, which is a bit of a problem, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Lucy addiction is only cured by the, cured by the big sleep. Yes. Uh, no, we will quality build it to good. And then Nazi should be able to do that. See, and then here. They're absolutely amazed by your hospitality. They will visit again, again uh, because we were charming them and stuff. And they leave you a gift. And they left us Toxnade. Toxnades. Really? Toxic grenades. That's, that's, that's what you leave. Great. Thanks. Yeah, because then we can get rid of these. And then they can sleep in actual beds, which is going to be a bit nicer. Hi, pal. I mean, that's it. That's so toxic of them. It is. It is super toxic. How's it going, Abernathy? Good to see ya. Hello. The Geneva checklist, right? Right? Is it Anadak? Can you fix the door? Thank you. That, that was the fire. Yeah, okay. That was the fire. Cute setup. Uh, would you want to wall the geo in for free heating um nah it's we're we're not in a continuous grow zone but it doesn't get super duper 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 cold in the winter i can't bar, get to see you so we don't we don't need to worry about that so much yeah we don't need the we don't need the extra heating it doesn't get super duper hot and it doesn't get super duper cold Uh, in this area, uh, in this area, 8.5, low mood, why? Eight without a table, hungry, tattered apparel, wants a neural supercharge. Well, okay. We can give you that after you join us. Just use your bedroom heaters. Yeah, yeah. This is not sea ice or ice sheet or anything like that. Uh, slave pepper. Brother of Nanazi, grand uncle of Captain Planet. Okay. Geneva bingo cart for RimWorld. <laughs> How about we don't? How about we don't? There you go. Are you happier? Oh, yeah. You are happier about sleeping. You're not complaining about there not being guest beds. So that refers to them not having beds or only sleeping on sleeping spots oh, that's good also pale mr squishy made it in you're a 12 year old right now so there we go mm -hmm. march stuffield patch you can now open doors and harvest with the scanner opened <gasps> Oh, that's amazing. That's actually a really good thing. That's great. 
That's actually good. Billy Suts. Let's go. Yeah, he's doomed. Yeah. I mean, we're all doomed. We're all doomed. Let's face it. This is Rimworld after all. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good change, but it took them very long. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yep. Took them quite long. You can also be very picky and selective with the people that they try to charm. So you only charm the people that you might want to recruit. Because they've got good traits, right? Yeah, we don't actually want to charm any of these. I mean, it gives you a bonus, but... Yeah, we don't actually want to want any of those people in our colony. Uh, you're attending. Are you going to attend to Anadar? Okay, you are. Let's see what we're going to get. Oh, E3. You know what? Could be worse. Because we've got muscle parasites in the colony, so... Three of our adults are currently stricken down with muscle parasites. Not ideal. Not ideal. 6.5 resistance on nag. All right. Well, before it was released, staff was hyped up by everyone to be the next Skyrim. I was excited for it, but I had very tempered expectations for it, and I feel I got what I expected I was going to get, so I'm not disappointed by what I got. Does that make sense? But we'll see what happens in the future. Uh, you wonder if we will get the full at 76 treatment. It will get better. I mean, they're working on it. They're at least still, they're still at least, uh, you know, patching it and updating stuff and whatnot. So we'll see. Hi, Theranen. But, but was hyped. Yes. How's it going, Theranen? It's good to see you. Talking Fallout, though. Have y'all seen the new trailer for the TV show? They're also releasing special branded Xbox controllers, and I kind of want them. I was dropping it because it's all that fun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got what I expected. I would... Oh. Member died because one of your chickens got eaten by an otter. Oh, come on. You need to protect them better. Really, Patty? I like a couple of them. I'm not sure if I like it, like them enough though to pay the money, but I kind of want them. But I'm not sure if I want them for how much they're going to cost. Or how much they cost. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens with Starfield. I don't know. Looks like they're going to stay very close to the story. What's... Oh, you mean Fallout 1. I mean... I'm not sure if it's gonna be, like, super duper close to the story. Like, the general story, yes. We'll see. You're afraid they're gonna ruin another game to DV adaptation? I mean, we've gotten some good ones recently. So, we'll see. You wanna see the show soon? I mean, it's not that much longer, right? It's a month from now. I don't know. I, I feel I, I get a good vibe from the trailer so far. Because they're very, very close to the source material in terms of all of the wacky things and whatnot. The vibe that I'm getting a little bit is because, and they do that in the trailer as well, 
And I'm not sure if that's the vibe. I'm just getting it from the trailer or if it's going to be the TV show. And if it's in the TV show like that, that might be a problem. It feels very disjointed because they're going to tell the story of three distinct people, right? And I feel like so far, even though I'm the trailer makes make, make me hype for it because, hey, it's Fallout, right? Like, it's... It seems presented, at least, in a very disjointed way until, like, the last 25 seconds of the trailer. Up until then, I don't know, I feel like they're not doing a very good job connecting them, the characters together in the trailer. I hope they do that better in the TV show. We'll see. We'll see, though. I will definitely watch it, though. All right, it's called the Prosthesis Trader. Let's see what you have. You have Glitter World Mets. I do want those. Um, I'll sell those. They also have us oh, only 17 Hyperweave though, but it's Hyperweave. We can sell like 75 herbal to do a little bit. Nah, it's not really the flashy bits even. They, they, they're actually not. It's just odd. It's a little bit odd. Feels disjointed. No. Dunno. You've got so many bits, but you don't have a you don't have an arm or a hand. That's unfortunate. Cause we still need a we still need a, a hand or Captain Planet. But if we buy the Glitter World Meds, that'll help. Because with the Glitter World Meds, we can put you in there. And wait, what? Wait, you can't regrow your hand? I swear it said we could regrow the hand. Well, I guess we're not going to regrow the hand then. Never mind. Spy creativity for Ruth. On a crafting skill of three. Yeah, okay, no. Were you to have a good video game TV series that with the Halo one? I've not watched the Halo one. Yeah, but then there's, for example, the, um... The Last of Us, which was probably, like, amazing. For, for like, it was, like, probably the best adaptation I've ever seen. And it was amazing. And I really enjoyed it. I don't know. They can definitely do it. It's just you need a director that really cares about the source material. How's the otter doing? You'll be fine. So I'm not gonna... Normally, if this were any other animal, I just... Hunt this and finish off this otter. But otters are venerated animals plus thrombos in this colony. So we're not gonna... Like if we were to slaughter the otter and eat it, we would get un uh, unhappy about it. So we're gonna rescue it instead. Mm -hmm. Medical treatment on Nanazi. And Anandar. Let's see. What can you get us? 41%. Not bad. Let's try an Anazi. Sixty percent. Well done, Mr. Squishy. Well done. Definitely want to tent them in the hospital bed store because of the added boost. Um, from the Vitals Monitor Medical Tent Quality Offset plus seven percent. That makes a bit di big different action. Big difference actually, considering how low skill our doctors are, plus um, the fact that they're only using herbal meds. Captain Planet is throwing another party. Gosh, Captain Planet is a party person. 
join all of the pa uh, parties. I think that's it, their third or fourth party. But then they didn't get to the party quickly enough, so the party was called off. <gasps> 1.4! Oh, almost there. Chat, we almost have another colonist. Very nice. Very good, very good. That's hype. We have nothing to eat. Um, try to entertain. Oh, eat food for free. No. No free food for guests. But I think we have to set up a special, a special room for them to eat in, I think. I think that's how that works. I'm not actually 100% sure. You want food? Well, so Lex just had lunch, but dinner time is not for another four hours, Mark. So you have to be patient. Sorry. What is for food today? I think we're having a risotto. Risotto, yeah. Mm-hmm. Found some uranium underground. You have cauliflower, cheese, and chips, please. Mmm. Food is for food, yes. Nice. That sounds good. Hi, Paranox. Hello. Who's stirring? Oh, we're not cooking yet, Mark. That's for later tonight. Yeah, Lex just had some cheese toasties for lunch. I don't know who's going to cook today. We'll see. Somebody. <laughs> Depends. We don't really plan that in advance, really. Who's gonna cook? Cheers! Yeah, he had cheese. All the cheese. <gasps> 0.5! Almost there. Let's go, Nag. So get your, make sure to get your names in, because uh, almost there. Your biscuits are dunk resistant. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Yeah, that is unfortunate. How rude. Pack up. Go to a and head hey, to the club. Woo. Have a nice day. Try to come up with a witty room world pun. So nope. <laughs> Have fun, mine gonna enjoy your weekend. Thanks for hanging out. Oh heck. A mechanoid cluster. All right, what is it this time? Oh, there's an automotor. An automotor. It's immediately go, go, going. And I don't have anything to help. Call the Empire. Help, 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 help. Please help. Please help. Thank you. I still don't... I have mortars. I still don't have anything to help. Um, I still have no mortars, though. That's the problem. Okay. Uh, let's grab both of you here and both of you here. They're very fancy open with chucky chunks. They're just not absorbing anything. Huh. That's odd. Whoa! Dang! They immediately just... Whoa. Okay, there's some pikemen down here. Dang, they're kicking butt! Okay, they heck and kicked butt. GG. 
GG. Wow. Yeah, who's Nag? A prisoner. Nag is a child prisoner. So we had refugees asked to come and stay with us. That was that was an adult and two children. The adult immediately spawned on the map and got attacked by a leopard and got killed. So the children turned hostile. So we accept the children, punched them, killed one of them accidentally. Uh, but Nag survived. We arrested Nag, converted them, and now we're recruiting them because they're they're an eleven year old tough child. They don't do anything else, but they're tough. We are nagging Nag about joining. Yeah, they're almost ready. 0.5 resistance. Hi, Dusty. Good morning. Thanks for the hydration reminder. Cheers. All right. Cool. Yeah, calling in the Empire there was super worth it. Hey, Nag's resistance has been broken. It has rocket launches, yeah. Yeah, big, big explosions. They go boom, 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 boom. And mortars and all sorts of things, yes. Yes, actually. It has. Mm-hmm. I need... I need biofuel. I can't make biofuel yet. Oh, oh, whoa, that was lag. The game was thinking about things. Mm-hmm. Oh, we still have guests here. Do that. Steadfast. See, that would be a good colonist. Yeah, the mech cluster had a... Um, incendiary turrets. Yeah, she would be not bad. Because good at animals crafting and artistic. But you love it when the takeaway driver tells you that you got the address wrong. No, don't think I've ever had that. That's annoying. Oh, they left me two advanced components. Oh. Hopefully, hopefully it still got to you warm. Mr. Squishy has reached the biological age of 13. She has demonstrated excellent personal growth. Most of all, Mr. Squishy loves writing a story about a funny kid who hunts man-hunting boomalopes. Oh. Oh, bummer. It's coldish now. Uh. Well then. Story about man hunting. Hunting, man hunting, boom alibes. All right, cool. Uh, I will give you shooting. I can give you psychopath, psychically deaf, or industrious. We don't really need psychopath because they already have bloodlust. Which is basically the same, th almost the same thing. So I'll put you, I'll give you industrial. Industrious. Global works people are thirty five percent. Like no passions, <laughs> except for fighting. But you know what? That's fine. You'll at least you 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 won't do things well, but you'll do it fast. Mm. You have the one who couldn't grasp that the road goes on further and they love the pizza upside down. We came out after like fifteen minutes to explain roads not ending. Yeah, that's so weird. All right. Let's go get Nag. Let's Nag Nag. Shooting stabbing is your passion. <laughs> it's Mr. Squishy's passion for sure. Uh huh. Here we go. Chat, chat them up. There we go. Nag has joined. Exclamation mark join if you have not yet done so. Because uh, Nag has joined. And is now part of the colony. Very nice. So if you haven't joined up yet. Jbat. Very nice. Very nice, Mark. I will uh, give you a second. 
Oh, Bogdan. Who the heck is Bogdan? Oh, one of the visitors. Don't beat up my Mr. Captain Planet, please. Great. Lost another toe. Thanks, Bogdan. Hi, Great Nash. Good to see you. You butthead, you. Well, ch well, I, I don't know how, chat. But I would say we have stabilized. I would say we have stabilized. Hey, Gumpian! Time for the weekend! Let's go! Weekend hype! Weekend hype! Let's do it. Let me call you next as a drag. This whole time has been funny sounding like you're talking it's to you. Friday, Friday. Gotcha. Gotta get down on Friday. Gotcha. All right, let's roll roll the name for Nag. Exclamation mark join if you haven't yet, Guppy. Oh, Hungry Guppy, you just did. Perfect. Pick random. It's Milo. Milo. Welcome to the colony. All right. Stabilized, but we don't have horses. No. We have stabilized. We have, we have, we have. I promise. Mostly, sort of. Technically, there are horses. We just mark them for hunting. But there are technically horses. Yes. Technically, we have horses. <laughs> on the map. Oh, corn plant has died because of cold. Well, let's go. Mm, well, Milo also likes doctoring, so why not take you, turn you hopefully into a doctor as well? That'd be great. We'll see. Uh, Nanazi. Okay, Nanazi is on it. Hi, Trivial Minds. Do horses count as fast food? No, but I heard they are. They count as lasagna. Anyways. <clears throat> How's it going, Trivial Mind? <clears throat> It's going. We stabilized, Trivial Mind. We stabilized. Considering the state we were in this morning, we've definitely stabilized. Yeah. Like, we've acquired new colonists. Yeah, they're, they're chatting with... Um, visitors so sometimes the visitors will do that as well but everybody everybody is everybody please believes in our uh, uh, ideology right now so that's very very good i'm honestly tempted to make anandar the new leader though because Ruth with her... She has better social, but that diment, dementia thing is just... Um, not good. Yeah. As the cleric. There we go. Hi, Super Saint. Good to see ya. Long time no watching. Yeah, it's been a hot minute. It's good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. I'm so busy with work and life. Yeah, it does happen, doesn't it? Yeah, we, we've been back for a while, like here and there, not like every single day and whatnot, but uh, yeah, it sunk its dirty claws back into me. <sighs> Hi, Jen, uh, Jen QZ. Is that how I say that? Hi, welcome. Hello. Yep, yep, yep. Insulted. Let's just check. You've got that bedroom. We still have that one unowned, and we have these. All right. No, yep, that's not where that goes. No, that is where that goes. So we're being very cheeky here, and we're kind of just trying to force master work beds. I don't think we have a good. Oh, Good is our best constructor person now. Actually, Nanazi is a 12 now, so we might actually be able to do this. Once they're done with their muscle parasites, which is going to be taken forever. Sunshine, we're a cat. No cats, only sunshine. 
I know. It's it's because I think it's just because our neighbors got a dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're good. We're good. We we're good. We're good. We're so happy. Like content, content. You're stressed. Recreation unfilled. Okay, hungry, serious pain. Yeah, okay, fair. Happy, content, content. So we're doing pretty all right, yeah. Ananda slept on the ground. Why? You have a bed. Why? There you go. Sleep in your comfy bed, please. There we go. Yeah, we're working on it. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll get the training while working on it. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Indeed. All right, chat, what we're going to do is... I'm going to take a quick break because I need to pop to the bathroom. And I did promise you some co-op. So I'm going to go and get stuff ready so Lex can join us for some Entrouded. I hope he can drive my world from yesterday. I think he can. Uh, and then we're just gonna we're gonna just have a little bit of a chill time with Lex for the rest of the stream. Uh, don't worry though, RimWorld will definitely come back next week. If you want more RimWorld, uh, there is always more RimWorld over on the YouTube channel. Um, there is a almost fifty episode long RimWorld series that you should definitely check out. So make sure to subscribe over there. I'm going to save this. Uh, I'm going to say bye bye to the ones watching on YouTube. Make sure to hit the subscribe button over there. Um, the new stream will go up in just a moment once I'm back from my break. Thank you so much for watching. And chat, Twitch chat, I will be right back. Thank you so much.